Thank you for choosing to visit us today. We are currently running an exhibit for the Master Raider Mali. His work continues to push the frontier of mages. This exhibit exemplifies Mali's DPS. His mind is not tied down to cultural norms. He has brought forth new possibilities of mage DPS. Not only has he helped to expand the world of mage DPS, he has put great effort to raising the next generation of mage enthusiasts. He is the torchbearer for the modern mystique of vanilla raiding. 
everyone is greatly anticipating what his next move will be. Thank you for choosing to visit us today. We are currently running an exhibit for the Master Raider Mali. His work continues to push the frontier of mages. This exhibit exemplifies Mali's DPS. His mind is not tied down to cultural norms. He has brought forth new possibilities of mage DPS. Not only has he helped to expand the world of mage DPS, he has put great effort to raising the next generation of mage enthusiasts. He is the torchbearer for the modern mystique of vanilla raiding. Everyone is greatly anticipating what his next move will be. Thank you for choosing to visit us today. We are currently running an exhibit for the Master Raider Mali. His work continues to push the frontier of mages. This exhibit exemplifies Mali's DPS. His mind is not tied down to cultural norms. He has brought forth new possibilities of mage DPS. Not only has he helped to expand the world of mage DPS, he has put great effort to raising the next generation of mage enthusiasts. He is the torchbearer for the modern mystique of vanilla raiding. Everyone is greatly anticipating what his next move will be. God damn. I nailed that slide. Terror kittens! 20 Swedish kroners! It's been an incredible journey. I completely agree. It's kind of bittersweet, isn't it? That we're at this point right now. How's everybody doing? 
I hope you're having a great day. Big W ain't shit. I see you, Patton. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Terror kittens. You guys are blessing me way too much right now. 100 Swedish kroners with a potato. Now that I need to give a little heart to. Thank you so much, man. Frag MX. $200. Are you kidding me? Thanks for bringing us along in your journey. Thank you for watching and donating. That's so generous of you. Wow, dude. Guys, I need to calm down here for a second. This is way too much love. I feel uncomfortable. Thanks so much, Fragamex. I've seen you throughout these streams. Thanks for watching, man. I really, really appreciate it. This has been a journey. Rune Kongstad! Finally I get to thank you on the stream this time. I missed your last one. Dear Oliver, my pride as a Danish country man, man has increased by a very sizable margin after finding you and your incredible channel. There are tons of things I can say. Rune, du skal have tusind tak for det. Det er virkelig, virkelig flot af dig. Godt at se nogle danskere i chatten. I'm sorry for speaking Danish, but... Thank you, Rune. Sorry, I can't get to all of your comments. I actually, uh... I have something ready in Minecraft that I want to show you. But I'm gonna wait a bit here. Hannah G with the heart. Heart back to you as well. Thank you for being an incredible mod. And making those summaries on all the videos. People love them. You know that, right? They, they go crazy for that. <laughs> Ethan cubed. I think you have leveled up to Ethan, whatever the next is. To the power of four. Quadrupled? I don't know what the actual word is for that. I should know that. Are you gonna watch the Minecraft movie in 2025? Wait, what do you mean Minecraft movie? What are you talking about? Are you kidding? They're making a movie about Minecraft? <laughs> Wait, how was that gonna work? There's no way. Oh, toasty inspiration. What an insane journey and insanely impressive that you managed to progress despite Minecraft's bad guidance. Thank you so much for the 200 kroners. I think... I don't think it was that bad. It was super fun. If it was any different, it wouldn't have been the same journey, right? That's why I'm so hesitant when... When, I'm, when, when I think of stuff that I am frustrated by. It's part of the experience, right? It's what makes Minecraft Minecraft. If it wasn't this weird and convoluted game, then, well, it's just going to be like any other game, right? I think it was great. I had a fucking blast with this game. Elevi with the 20 euros. Let's hit the ground running. Thank you so much. I, Guys, I don't know what I'm going to spend all this money on. This is way too much for me. I just want you guys to watch and enjoy. That's all I care about, really. That makes me happy. Thank you so much. Rune again! But I at least want to say keep doing your thing. Can't wait for Rain World, a game I myself have not yet completed. So it will be fun to play it with you. Yeah, I actually like that idea. That people play it along with me. I think that would be... I think that's a nice thought. I definitely felt a little lonely playing Minecraft, because pretty much everyone has played this game, right? So there's nobody in the chat going, oh, I don't even know what this is, you know? <laughs> Same as me. Thanks for the 100 rune. I'm excited for Rain World as well. I'm very excited. 
How was everybody, huh? Now check it out. I want to I want to show you guys something. Um Hold on a Oh my god. Oh, it skipped a bunch. This is you guys are riding way too f I can't I can't get to him all. Oh lord. Derek, Gephardt, Canadian dollars 50. Great series, Oliver. Your frustration and pain was our fun. When playing Minecraft myself, I will never, I will forever be using the terms Ascension Blocks, EDP, and when things get extremely aggravating, frozen yogurt. <laughs> I look forward to future streams. Yo, that's awesome. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I feel like Ascension Block is the. Um, the, I don't know, the logical thing to call it? <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. No, Rune! With fi 500 kroners now, I don't, I, I don't know what to say, guys. I also got very happy when you talk about modding Minecraft, since it is the biggest mountain community ever, by far. Not including maps, data packs, servers, mang tak for the heal, I do my head a god it too, fear too. I lige måde, Rune. Tusind tak for alle dine donationer. That's super awesome. I am gonna play more Minecraft in the future. I'm planning on playing it modded. And in hardcore at some point. I wanna beat this game in hardcore on the difficulty hard, not normal. Because apparently there are some gameplay changes and I just wanna beat the game that way. I think that would be really fun. Especially now that I have all this knowledge that I didn't have before. Would be fun to see how different it is compared to the beginning. Frederik Nydal, tak for verdens bedste Minecraft stream. Thanks to you as well, Frederik. That is so nice of you. 50 Norwegians. Isanti. By the way, I the funny thing is, I recognize all these names. Rune Frederik, Isanti, Derek, Levi been donating so much throughout all this toasty inspiration and everyone else in the chat as well it's such, it's actually a small community right now which is insane to me it is truly insane shower him in potatoes you say that sounds like a shower i would want to take definitely very starchy shower <laughs> i don't know man glyph griff I love this whole series. Thank you so much, Oliver. Now you've got the best Out of Wilds playthrough and the best Minecraft playthrough on YouTube. Aw, oh, come on. You're spoiling me way too much here. I'm just playing my games. Thanks for the $50, man. I'm getting almost emotional here from all this. Sefur Chmura. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I recognize you also. 25 Polish. Uh, what does the N stand for? I'm not actually sure. Isn't it Slotsk, Slot, Slotsky or... Oh, no, I actually don't know how to pronounce that. First discovered you thanks to your Hollow Knight series. Then been following those streams since the second episode was out. Love your content, man. Yeah, I guess the first episode... Does that really count? Because it's like in the in the other version of Minecraft, so it's a little bit disconnected. What happened in the first and in the second? Because it's not the same world. I don't know. I guess I did gain some knowledge in that one, didn't I? Aaron Lustig, also a name I've been seeing all over the place. I also noticed you guys commenting on my usual videos, not live streams. It's so funny seeing all these names. YouTube changed the system though at some point. Where the names look different in the comment section on YouTube as it does on live stream chat. It's weird. I'm not sure what's what's going on there. Minecraft movie will be staring Jack Black. <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. How does that even work? Is he gonna run around placing blocks? Killing creepers? What's happening? I don't understand. I don't get it, but I mean, it, that, that sounds awesome, honestly. Paulo, Paulo Henrique. 
I butchered that, I'm so sorry. Thanks for your donation. This was by far the best Minecraft playthrough I've ever seen. It really makes me wish for more games designed to be played like this. Thanks a ton, Oliver, and Hox from Brazil. Hey, love back to Brazil from Denmark, my friend. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I mean, most games are, are actually designed this way. Like, they're, being, they're designed to be played. You know, uh, I guess, blind? Actually, that's not true. Some games are designed to be played um, using online resources, right? Like, for example, uh, Kerbal Space Program, you, I think you would probably need to know a little bit about rockets and stuff to actually succeed in that game. I mean, you could just trial and error your way through it, because it's a game, right? You can do whatever you want, but yeah. Steve is the main character, by the way. I don't, I'm not sure I know what you mean, Hannah. Are you talking about uh, the movie? So, I don't know who Steve is. Aluin Lark. With 50 Norwegian kroners. First time ever donating on any stream. This has been incredible. Hard to explain why and how much it's meant to me to follow your series. Thank you. I, I feel the same way. Guys, before I even started this whole thing, I could I would never dream about this sort of stuff happening. All all it all it took was for me to record something and put it up, and people liked it. I'm I'm having so much joy from that, knowing people enjoy that shit. It's so cool. And you're all so friendly and generous. It's Loki Loki. I recognize your profile picture. But I'm not sure I remember the name. Did you change it? Thanks, thanks for the 150 Swedish kroners. Sorry to say as a Swede. You don't have to apologize for anything. It's not your fault that you were born this way. It just so happens, you know? I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, Denmark. for those that don't know, Denmark and Sweden have this uh, love-hate relationship between each other. But it's mostly hating each other for fun, you know? It's, it's a running joke. That's all it is. There's nothing serious there. But I think you might be the main character of gaming. <laughs> what? Too many random occurrences in Outer Wilds, Minecraft and Talos. The universe is on your side. Really? I'm curious what you mean by that. The random occurrences. Hmm. I like it though. I will take that. The main character of gaming. That sounds pretty cool. Oh wow! I, 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 guys, I. It's going so fast. I can't actually follow it. Hold on. I need to figure out this UI. I, I can't follow what's happening. I'm such a noob. Hold on. Uh, okay, there. For some reason, uh, hold on. Yeah, I don't know. I have to figure this out. The chat is going so fast. It's actually erasing. Oh, here we go. I popped out the chat and now it's in full screen. This is way better. Guys, if I'm missing somebody here, I'm so sorry. You guys are way too generous and the chat is moving way too fast for what I'm used to. This is completely wild for me. Um, binge diff. Is that a reference to differentiation or is it the difference or something? To the highest highs and the lowest lows. Yeah. Cheers to those who dream. Or what is it? To those who fail? I'm thinking about the one from La La Land now. Made me think of that when you wrote that. Christopher Eklund. Or Christopher Eklund. Of course, yeah, Swedish. A thousand Swedish kroners. Guys, I, I don't know what to say. You're putting me in a very weird spot. I'm not used to this sort of stuff. Thank you so much. This series has been incredible. From conquering 
the fletching table to the wither. But maybe most impressively, you've converted Swede into a Dane lover. <laughs> Keep it up and have a blessed 2024. Christopher, I love you too, man. I love all of you for watching, donating, and just cheering me on, really. You're all such nice people. Honestly, can I just say to everyone in this chat, nobody managed to spoil me on anything throughout the entire series. How incredible is that? You guys are freaking amazing. I had my doubts that would be even possible. But you guys did it. And same for all the other games I've played. Super impressive. So awesome. I don't know what to say, yeah. Jan Suda. Hey, Oliver. Cannot stay, so I'm just saying hi, and we'll be coming back later. Enjoy the wrap-up of this awesome series. Yeah, I don't know if you're still here, Jan Suda, but thank you so much, and I will see you later. You better be here later. Pampalusiek says, Hello about Oliver. <laughs> I wanted to send you something to thank you for all your great series. I have one question. Will you send us yours from this Minecraft series? I would really want to see it. Would you send us... yours? Hold on. I wanted to send you something... I have a Will you send us yours? I'm not understanding your question, Pampalusiek. But thank you for the donation. I... Would you send us... Oh, your world! Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. I can do that. I have it on file. I'm gonna put it in the Discord after this. What about that? Is that okay? It's just the... Uh, I, I'm, j I'm just gonna sip it, right? And then upload it and everything's good. And that should work on your computer. Elevi, with the 10 euros again. Been playing your world replica last few days. Your houses are now officially named Moonpool Lodge, Witherborn Lodge, and Wardenfell Farmstead. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yo, those names are great. I love that. Wardenfell Farmstead. That is awesome. Hey. That is amazing. Cheers, everybody. To a long series, huh? <clears throat> Sorry. Glyphgriff, dropping another 10 on behalf of my son. We bond watching you together, and you infected our everyday language. We still use Alive in Africa to describe someone drowning. <laughs> That's the fucking best thing I've ever read. Hey. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. It's like saying we're podcasting, you know, when going up. Because it's all dark. That's the, It's the same sort of energy. I love it. I'm going to start using that for people drowning. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Alive in Africa. For those that don't get that reference, uh, it's from... Ah, oh, what is the game now? I'm blanking on it. Oh god, I can't believe I'm... <sighs> Obradin. Return of the Obradin. There it is. And Wispu, with 10 euros, thanks for best Minecraft series to watch. Most frustration to me was... Spoiler, you didn't cook woodlocks. Keep boiling those potatoes. You didn't cook woodlocks? Hmm... I'm, I feel so stupid sometimes. Even when you're trying to explain it, I'm not getting it. Wood... Oh, wood blocks. Oh, wood blocks. Oh, okay. Wait, can you actually cook them? 
You're shitting me. No way. By the way, we have big plans today. We're gonna be playing on the Minecraft server. We are going to... Uh, um, Oopsia has made some kind of... Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but... It's some sort of game inside Minecraft. And I think that would be cool to try first. That's one of the first things. And then later on, we're gonna be watching some videos, just talking the shit, you know? Just sitting here, having some fun, reminiscing about what's happened. And you guys are, be, are gonna be spoiling everything, and I can't wait to facepalm at all this shit I missed. It's gonna be fantastic. Jan Fulton, you are here! A hundred knocks. Thanks for 50 fantastic and sometimes frustrating episodes. Hoping for many more. I'm definitely gonna be playing uh, Minecraft again in the future. Uh, I said this before, but probably hardcore next time, because I wanna... I, I, I have that itch now. That feeling of now that I have all this knowledge, I wanna try and put it to use from the beginning in a new world, you know? I think that would be really fun. But first, we will be venturing to a world filled with rain. Apparently. I'm guessing. <laughs> Based on the name of the game. Yeah. Guys, I want to show you something. So, the way I have it set up here is... Hopefully I can see your chat while I'm in the game now. Uh, hold on. Oh, wait. I need to put... Pop out chat again. Pop out the chat and then put it... There. Bear with me. This is all still very new. Uh, okay. So I'm... And check this out. I have a keybind, so I can do this now. Oh no, did it work? Oh, I need this on the left. Hold on. Hey, look at that. I can now do, from inside the game, keybinds. <laughs> so check this out. I went in for 10 seconds, confirmed it worked, and then I went out again. Look at this. Look at this gloriness. I had Jen help me out. Uh, I installed fabric, something called sodium and I think iris it was called. And I just downloaded the most popular uh, uh, pack or whatever you want to call it for the shaders. Doesn't that look cool though? Hey, what do you think? So when I'm playing on Hardcore later on, I'm gonna play with this, because it looks pretty cool. And now that I have officially completed the game, I think I'm allowed to modify the game. And then do all kinds of other things. Dude, I'm, I'm loving the way this looks, you know? It's cool. This is still my world, this is where I logged out last time. I think I was up there, I, I walked down here. <laughs> so awesome. It's so weird reading your chat while I'm in the game, actually. Hold on. I personally disagree with shaders. It looks too good. I, 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 know, I, I think I see what you mean. It's definitely a, a fine balance, you know? You gotta find the right balance there. There was also some shaders where the clouds were actual cloud looking, and I thought that was a bit too much. But yeah, I think this is fine for now. It's gonna always change. Mm. This is so cool. So, um, I'm actually uh, not sure how I connect to the things. So, I, oops, you're the one who made something. The thing that you uh, made, is that on the Minecraft server? Or is it something something else? I'm just asking now so I, so I know. It's in Discord. Okay. Hold on. There's a guy over here who needs a spanking. Oh yeah, never has a skeleton dying looked so good graphically. Mmm, that death was delicious. Throw that away. Guizmo, love the series. It's my first donation on a stream ever. Wow, I started watching your series one since you started playing Out of Wild DLC. Guizmo, I remember your name. Thanks for the five euros, man. I appreciate it. It's in the Discord. Okay, so hold on. 
And check check this out. I'm gonna alt tab now. Wait, why did the game pause? Oh, it pauses automatically when I alt tab. Damn it! I wanted to display that I actually got window uh, borderless wind borderless full screen working, so that it doesn't pause. But yeah, I guess it pauses. Oops. Ah, there you are. You sent something to me. That's true. The IP for the server is something. You can join when you're ready. Um, so people also told me. And I think I know this. Create new world. You can actually create. Yeah, see, this is the one that I want to play in the future. But you can actually play creative as well. Create, build and explore without limits. You can fly, have endless materials and can't be hurt by monsters. <laughs> Sort of the same way in Kerbal Space Program, where you can be in the... Where you can have all the materials and build everything you want, right? So that would be cool to try. But I'm gonna try and actually... Because I need to learn how to connect to servers and all that. Uh, I'm gonna try and connect to this one. I'm copy-pasting what you sent me. Oops. Yeah. Let's see here. Multiplayer. Uh... Yeah, sure. Don't show that again. Oops, I need to allow open JDK platform binary. I need to allow it. Sure. Direct connection, I guess. Wait. This is my house. I'm, hold on, I'm just gonna look at chat. Is this, am I doing this right? Am I actually in the right place? Okay, it seem, seems like it's working. You guys are fucking with me here. This is so weird. Dude, this is so weird. Uh, Go to bed. Okay. I have resistance on. Wait, why is that book glowing? Oh, it's probably because I have the gra music you have. <gasps> Hold on a second. Do I have this? I don't remember this name. This one I remember. This one is awesome. Music you don't have. What? No, I thought I had them all or like close to it. Strat? Wait, this one's broken. Wait, it says can be placed on. What? Why does it say can be placed on? Is that the is that the mod I have or is that the server I'm on? Um, I guess I'm listening to these. I want to try this. fuck is this? What's that? <laughs> Stuart? Yo, I wonder if this music is actually in the game or someone modded this in. Because this doesn't sound like something you would put in a children's game. Fuck! Oh! Oh, that was loud. It is very uncomfortable watching outside my windows, dude. You know what this reminds me? Oh, no, I'm not gonna say that because that will spoil something very big in, in another game. I was about to do something bad. Okay, that was that was messed up. Um, you go back where you were. Wait, what's this? <laughs> huh? 
How? I, I can't believe there are this many music discs. How could... Where could they possibly be? I want to enchant... Oh, this looks really nice. I do like how this light looks with this graphics. Oh, I can't... I can't remove things. This is... Pokemon! It's a nightmare! <laughs> I like this one, though. This is a nice vibe. Heck yeah, dude. Why is there a steward name here? I'm waiting for you, Oliver. That's fucking terrifying. Stuart, I know we've had our differences. And I know there were some differences between me and your wife and you. But it was all consensual. I swear to you. I mean, at least I don't have the painting up anymore of his wife. I'm so sorry, Stuart. Okay, I wanna just quickly... I can't, I can't believe there are this many music discs. Oh, of course it's in the game. It says C418. That's the artist. Ah, right. Okay. You know what? I'm actually gonna save some of these for a bit later. Um. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is fucked up. Yeah, that's creepy. Hey! You got it wrong. It was supposed to be that way. All my organization. Oh, this is so nice. This is before everything went to shit. This is before Big W. Stuart. I'm gonna say hi to you. What's up, Stuart? Hey. Oh, fuck. Hey, Oliver. Hey. I'm here to bring you some great news. Hey. I have quit dr Nice! Stuart! Now you can share the recipe with me. How do I make the invisibility potion? Let's hear it. Now, I see that you have finally finished Minecraft. Which is amazing. Do yeah. you really think you are a pro now? Hell yeah, buddy! Uh. To prove your worthiness, I have made an uh. obstacle course for you. Beneath your house. Uh -huh. So when you're ready, hop in. Uh -huh. Good luck. No fucking way, dude. Nah! Stuart! I'll see you tomorrow. I, I, I have stuff I need to do, you know? I've got music to listen to. I've got to go for a nap. Look at all these books. You think they're going to read themselves? No way, Jose. Oh, it's not night. Yeah, I, I meant a quick nap during the day. I'm sorry. It's, it's, yeah. All right, fine. I'll jump in the hole. I don't know what's happening. This is amazing. Oh! Is there a way out? What's that? Invisible wall. Oh! I knew it! Dude, this is a- Wait, you can put books on this? Hello, Oliver. Good job finding the secret exit. Throughout the obstacle course, you will find lectures with books like this one. These will guide you to the end, so you do not get stuck. In this room, for example, you might notice that as you turn each page, another pair of redstone lamps turns on. Redstone lamps? Do I know about that? This is awesome. Dude, how do you make this stuff? Okay, hold on. I want to see this light turn on. 
This is because of the redstone comparator that is placed behind the lectern. Right, I remember that. It will emit a redstone signal with the strength of whatever page the book is on. Oh! Really? The maximum signal strength any redstone can have is 15. Now, how would one open the door at the end? Hmm. 13, 14. Right! Yes! I, I did it. I opened the door. Yo, how do you even make this stuff? This is awesome! Hold on a second. I'm, I'm savoring this right now. This is so cool. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh! Fuck! I can't even destroy- I can't destroy things. Okay, stick to the right. Okay. Stick to the right. Oh, wait a minute. I fucking recognize this place. Isn't this what I did? I did this! This is amazing. What is this music? Oh, dude, look at the reflections. How is that even possible with a mod like that? That's so impressive. Oh my god, is this is ancient uh, debris. Hold on, I want to see if there's more. I'll come back for you, Lectern. I shall be reading you soon. Dude, this is incredible. I like... Uh. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, okay, fine. Hold on, my phone just activated. It, I think Google is listening and wanting to do commands. Hold on. The technique of mining long tunnels with two blocks in between you use to find ancient debris is called strip mining. This is a well-known technique used by most players to quickly find ores. Really? Okay. So I guess I did it good. For ancient debris specifically though, there is another way. Oh yeah? Ooh. This smells like a trap. Uh-oh. Oh! Whoa, that was fucking big. Oh my god. Oh. Hold on, I'm not understanding this. Why did it make such a big hole? Dude, if only there was this much ancient debris when I played, though. Oh, this looks so amazing. What is these? How come these are not destroyed? Is that the trick? You can't blow them up or what? Whoa. Can I take damage? Oh, I can't. Probably because of resistance, huh? I have some kind of a god mode on. <laughs> ah, I'm invincible. Dude, this music is amazing. I wonder if this is part of Minecraft. By the way, for those that are wondering, I'm not looking at chat at all right now. This is way too good. I'm, I'm immersed in this stuff right here. So wait. So ancient debris does not get blown up. It just stays. So TNT is the solution to finding ancient debris. But dude, that would require so much 
Uh, gunpowder. Is that really worth it? I guess it must... I wonder if this is... As much as you would see normally. If you do explosions. Hmm. I don't see a way out. Let me go see him back and see if something changed. Wait. Hold on a second. Where did I come from? Did I... Did I fall through a hole? How did I just get here? St Stuart! St Stuart! I think Stuart's trying to reach me on my phone. At the end of the tunnel. Hold on. I have an idea. The way to get out is to ascend through the lava? Lava must be coming from someplace, right? Come on, get up there. Get up, get up. Hey. Oh, maybe not. Whoops. Oh, at the end of the tunnel. Oh. Oh. Ah. Another lectern. TNT is very effective for mining ancient debris because netherrack is very fragile to blasts, while ancient debris cannot be blown up, and thus is not lost. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome, actually. If you find TNT too expensive... <laughs> Did you just read my mind? Another good method is making use of intentional game design. <gasps> Netherite items don't burn in la- Hold on, I, I need to- Do you mean like... The bed? Bed in the nether? Dude, this is awesome. They don't burn in lava. Even these blocks don't burn, it seems. I wanna pick this up, I wanna- Eh. Alright. Dude, this looks great, huh? Look at this. The graphics are actually really nice. Hmm. I just... I just gained... a, a health. Um... Do I... That's creepy. Was that there before? Can I just sneak across this? Hey! That worked! I thought of the time I was underwater. As you might have noticed, sneaking on magma blocks prevents you from burning your feet. Wearing boots enchanted with Frostwalker will achieve the same effect. Yeah. That's how I used to... <clears throat> excuse me. Avoid being dragged down. Uh, or take damage while I was getting my health, or my breath. What are these sounds, dude? Uh-oh. I still only have half an HP. How could one possibly get up such a ledge? I don't know. Destroy a block? Jump from a tree? Uh, can I climb these? <gasps> what? I don't even know what this is. Have I ever seen that? I guess I must have. This piglin does not have an AI. Say hi. What's up, piglin? You're my friend. It's just chilling. Ooh, this is creepy. How about this one? I can climb the red. Oh! 
Dude, that's so obvious in hindsight. Oh wait, actually it's not that obvious. Never mind, it is obvious. I don't- I mean, I just never tried that, I guess, but... That's awesome that that works. Uh-oh. Oh, this- this is not good. Minecraft has a hidden crawling mechanic. You are forced into crawl mode when you enter a one block high space. Maybe this trapdoor can help with that? Oh, really? Oh! <gasps> oh, that's creepy AF. Okay, we're gonna be podcasting, guys. Oh my god, it's so dark. Oh, what the fuck? What is happening? He's going around. Wait, what? There's more than one. What the fuck is going on? Gas observatory. <laughs> what? <laughs> With the red nose? With one eyebrow raised? Is that how I'm supposed to see this? What's up, Ghast? I'll be out of your way, okay? I, I need to see what's in here. Oh my god, it's so dark. I, I can't see anything. Oh, I see a light. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Some mobs are scared of certain other mobs or blocks. One example is the Hawklin, the big nether pigs. They hate warped fungus. In this next room, you can place warped fungus on the blue blocks. Oh, I, I just sort of have them now. Holy shit, really? I would never figure this out. Never. Hey guys, don't mind me. I'm just here planning my shit. Eh. So they won't attack me? Dude, this is awesome. I would never figure that out. Oh, that looks badass. Do I want to stay or go through though? I don't know. See, this looks like death. Uh, let me let me see what happens here. Uh, yes. What? Yeah. I'm locked in. Scotty. What? Beam me up. Okay. Hold on. Oh wait, is that water? I couldn't tell because the, the the graphics are so different. Okay, I guess I survive. Oh. A snowball. Decorated pots can be broken with snowballs. Throughout this cave there are several of them hidden. Break them all and craft the gold ingot using their contents to progress. This is so cool! I love this! Oh. Wait, why is there a crafting thing? Oh! Oh! Wait. I, I don't understand what just happened there. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can find a pot in the cave. Oh, I unlocked things. What the hell? 
Yo, this is amazing looking. I'm just taking this in right now. Is, th well, is that a pot? Oh! I got one! Oh wait, they're, they're hidden. Where are the pots? I'm gonna check behind again. Just in case I missed something. Oh wait, it's up there! <laughs> Trying to hide from me. He can't hide from me. Wait, what's that? Oh, they dropped gold! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I need to go grab the gold over here then. Gold? Where was it? There was a gold... Oh! Oops! Oh, fuck, sorry. I apologize. I wanted to right-click you and uh, interact with you. But I guess that didn't work, huh? I'm sorry, buddy. I apologize. Okay, let me just go around and find some more blocks. Pots. This is a beautiful cave. Whoops. Oh, fuck. Eh. Nice. Oh, I need to collect gold. So to... I need like uh, eight or nine of those. I need a full uh, window of it, right? Full window of gold nuggets. To make a major nugget shaped in a very peculiar way. A very specific way, one could say. Dude, I'm loving how the lights look. I'm actually so glad I installed these uh, these new graphics before I did this. This is perfect. Let me go this way. Uh oh. Nice. What the hell is going on here? I guess I have infinite snowballs. Wait, did I get it? I didn't take it. I keep forgetting. Give me that. Thank you. I think I'm still missing one because I destroyed one of the pots in here. And now it's gone. Oh wait, here it is! Yay! Found it. Okay. So I just need like five more. Oh, there's one. Awesome. Uh oh, it fell in the water, didn't it? I heard the splash. There it is. Man, these pots are actually kind of hidden. Okay, let me keep going this way. Those hidden pots, huh? I'm betting there's a hidden pot somewhere on the ground here. Hidden in between these... Uh, stalag, whatever's. I always forget the, the method. People keep reminding me I cannot remember it. Maybe there's one behind me. In here? What do we got? I see one. <laughs> this is so cool. Probably there's one behind me as well here. I'm not seeing one. Wait, I have... Did I get more than one in that one? Let me go into the bench, the crafting bench. There was one over here now. I guess I already- Oh, wait, oh, I see one. It's hiding. Yeah, got it. Awesome. Okay, jump. There it is. I need nine. Whoop. I just heard something. It's like a little girl. I heard a little girl. Yeah! Now cook it. Okay. Actually, you cannot do that. 
So apparently I need this. But what's a hit? A gold ingot is required to open this door. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's uh oh. Oh no. I made an advancement. Dude, the redstone looks awesome. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, this is all wool. What the hell? What is all this? You've asked if the ancient city has anything below it. Have I? Right now you are standing in a room that is directly under the central portal. A door that works using pistons at the base of the structure opens and leads to this area. The pistons behind you normally have blocks in front of them. Wait. Really? As in... Hold on, you didn't make this? Stuart? To open the door, all you needed to do was to eat the golden apple in the chest above. The one you've seen right in that area. Oh, the golden apple! This room is meant to organically explain different properties of redstone and how it interacts with various blocks. Feel free to explore it. You're shitting me! Why didn't I eat the golden apple? Oh no! Ahead is the door activation mechanism. It's complicated. Can you figure out how it works? You can't. Wool blocks have been recolored and there are additional signs to make things less confusing. Oh no. Wait, what is what, what is even happening? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, hold on. I activate this, which turns on this light, which activates this redstone, uh, which goes into here because of because of the arrow, I guess, into here, into here. Then it does something how it works, comprehensive. Oh, okay, hold on. Six? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, there's more over here. What's happening here? Oh, is this another one? I'm so confused by all this. Gold, golden apples. Skulk sensors in water don't make noises. Oh my god. How is anyone ever going to figure that out? I would never have tried to do that. At least, it's easy to say that, right? But, yeah. Comparator in subtract mode. So I guess that's when the lights aren't on. So these are all in subtract mode. Five. Oh. Yeah, so activating this one is gonna send a signal, right? Signal with a strength equal to the page you're on. Let me see. As you know, skulk sensors detect nearby vibrations. And they actually output a redstone signal. When getting the output using a comparator, the signal strength is based on the type of sound. Vibration of consuming items outputs a signal strength of 8. Really? I mean, I guess I knew that there would be a redstone thing attached to that based on the achievement. The one that would say create something like a... Skull, a calibrated skulk sensor or something, right? That you can use to uh, detect movement. Like use the skulk to your advantage. Oh, and now I did something else. 
By the way, this is linked. This is going through here. And then... Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. Oh! They're moving the thingies. Oh, it's so hard to see, but I don't know if you can see that. Changing the signal strength temporarily uh, changes or stops the signal, then sends a new one, which activates the thing. Uh, let's see. Redstone comparators also detect the fullness of a container. Really? The furnace here has enough items to output a signal strength of 7. The comparator coming out from the sensor also has a little torch turned on at the front, which means it's in subtract mode. Okay. So that means it subtracts from 7 instead of adding? Wait, so... This furnace here has a strength of 7? What did you say? Enough items to... Strength of 7. Oh, I can't click on these, of course, but... Oh, oh! 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 Interesting. You see how it turns on when you put it in? Huh. I didn't even realize you could connect a furnace to all this. This is kind of blowing my mind right now. I feel like that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> I would never have figured that out. Um, it subtracts the signal it receives on the side from the signal it receives in the back. 8 minus 7 is 1, which comes out the front and turns off redstone torch N3. Redstone torches turn off when the block they're on is powered. That redstone torch unpowering also unpowers the line of redstone connected to it, which causes the redstone torch number 4. It's, l it's leading into to power, activating the rest of the system. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure I understand this right now. This is very complicated for me. In conclusion, only power level 8 is allowed. 7 is not enough because of the furnace. 9 is too much because the second top dust... Because the second top dust powers... Powering the repeater which unpowers the torch. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm too... It's too late in the day for me for this. I don't understand this. Oh! Yeah! Wait, what? Wait, it's zooming when I do this. That's not normal. Oh yeah, this, this does activate stuff, doesn't it? I knew about this. Oh! Oh! That's a redstone block, if I'm not mistaken. So, I activate this. The piston pushes the redstone block into... I don't, I don't remember the name of this, this light block here. And activates it. But only for the duration it touches. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I had no idea you could... Oh, and they are connected with redstone like this. This makes more sense now. I thought they were just naturally connected. By placing them next to each other. But I didn't even realize there was this redstone on top of it. And then it slowly degrades. This is nuts. What goes on here? Oh wait, we need a book on that. Can I take this book? So if I put a book on this and I put a power of one, I turn the page. It should activate this light, right? Okay. I just want to see what's over here. 
What's this all? This room explains how in most cases redstone cannot go through transparent blocks. But it can go through solid blocks. Only in some specific circumstances can redstone pass through transparent blocks. Yeah, it goes through these. Which specific circumstances, though? Also, I'm, I'm still not quite sure I understand how these work. Oh, wait, is this the... Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit mysterious to me. All of this is very... Very complicated. There's a book here as well. Empty. Fun fact, we were able to place this whole room here automatically by using the place command. Very useful. Place command? Empty. I wonder if this... Okay, so my question is, is all of this how it would look? I'm actually gonna... I'm not gonna look at chat real quick. Is all of this how it would look here? Would I be able to see this if I actually ate the apple in my game? Yes? Holy shit! Yeah, minus the lecterns, of course. Yeah. There would be no explanation. It would just be like this. Dude. I'm so sad I didn't eat the, <laughs> eat the apple. God damn. Hold on. Oh wait, I had to do the thing with the book, right? Yeah. So now they're extended, look. Hmm. Cool. Okay, let's let's let, let's move on. We're going up. Panda bears? Oh, this is really nice. What? What's wrong with my arrows? Oh, my arrows don't work, guys. He's playing dead! Ah! Yeah, I got you. I got you. Oh, gee, sorry. I right-clicked by accident. Oh, this is nice. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, wait. I saw something in the... Oh, it's a reflection. Look down there, it looks like there's a little tunnel. But it's actually up here. Oh, this is really nice looking. Ooh, I'm, I, I want to build things in Minecraft with these graphics now, just to see how it would look. What a nice night sky. Can I brrrt? I can't brrrt. Not right now. Dude, these are so nice! I f what is the name of these? I, I should have been making these! Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ! Diorite! I can't believe you can do this sort of shit! That was quite scary, wasn't it? YES! Those doors you just walked through were completely made with redstone, using pistons to move the blocks. Now let's see if you can figure out this next puzzle. Dude, that was so sick! How is that even possible? And can I make an elevator? If you can make this shit, I can make my elevator. Something needs to drop onto the pressure plate below to open. Oh yeah? Oh, that's so cool! Wait. 
Oh, wait, what? I need, I need a. Oops. Uh, this one. Wait, this one. Oh, it pulls. It attaches. And then we push it this way. And then we grab it. And what do we do then? What's this? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, so that one is already extent. Wait. Okay. So I need to get it around here, right? Into. Oh, but wait, there's a glass in front of it. Oh, it needs to go there. Right, okay, okay. I thought it was going here, but it's going there. Okay, so then I am right. It needs to go this way. But how the hell do I do that? Um, if I can move it one this way, I can grab it like that, right? What does this do again? That pushes this back. Do I want to do that? Ooh, this is difficult for me. Hold on. Why is there a thing here? That's what I'm not understanding. This is not connected to anything. This button doesn't do anything. Oh! Wait, how did that work? I'm not sure I understood that. How did this suddenly make a 90 degree turn? Oh. Oh well. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah. Now we take it. There we go. And then we push this way. Grab it. Oh, wait. I was maybe too fast. It doesn't want to attach, it seems. Ooh. And now. Oh. Maybe I need to click this first. Oh, okay. I see. So it matters which... Uh, at which... Um, which order you do it. So... Aha. Uh -huh. Now... What do we do now? Wait, what does this do? Maybe I need to get it... Hmm. See, that's interesting. That also activates this one. <laughs> Dude, this is so fucking amazing. Whoever made this, incredible. If it's you, Oopsha, or if there's more people involved, I don't know, but this is amazing. Um... So that pushes us that way. How do I get it to go over here, though? What does this one do? That's what I don't understand. Let me try. Hmm. Oh, so they get queued up, actually. When I click this in there, it waits. You see? And then the other one goes. Oh, my God. I... I can't even believe you can do all this crap. I'm not sure I, I know what to do. Mm. Let's see. Let's think about this. I need this sand to go here. Actually, I need it to go here. Because then I can grab it with that, right? So how do I get this sand from there to here? I can't push it in that direction. I can't grab it with anything either. Oh, but wait. Oh! Oh! You can push... 
the uh, the pistons too. What the fuck? And now we grab it back. Oh, this one. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing, dude. Oh, ah, uh, I'm too slow. There, there. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Hey! That's amazing! Well done. Well done. That was awesome. So cool. You didn't expect the player would do this, would you? The guy orders a beer. He orders a citrus. He orders minus one beer. He orders all the things. Then he asks for the bathroom, right? I'm, I'm going right. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Stuart! Jesus, fuck! That was the end of my obstacle course. Stuart! Now I have one final challenge. No, Stuart, no! I fight against my minions. Let wave one commence. Okay, I got this, Stuart. You, you, you watch me. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Actually, I uh, kite them, kite them. Ah, we got this. I'm a pro at this game. I just need to get back into the groove of things. Holy fucking shit, you scared the ever-living crap out of me, bro. Let's see if you can handle this. Oh, yeah? How about you say- No! No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. They got an archer! They brought a cave troll. Yeah! Don't you dare. I actually forgot I had a shield there. Ah! Fuck yo thingies. Pots. There we go. Oh my god, he has, he has diamond pans on! He's got the drip! Mine. Also, for some reason I'm forgetting I have keybinds in this game. I'm rolling with my mouse wheel. No! Attack child! Oh god. Holy shit, he does a lot of damage. Fuck you! Fuck you! I don't want none of you. Get... Uh-oh. I thought I had a bow. Give me that. Yeah. My, my bow's gone. Eat. Oh no, how about... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, we got this. We're pro. We're pro at this game. Uh-oh, he's going up, he's going up! Kite! Kite, 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 kite! Tight, tight, tight! One down! Ah, oh, burning! Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, ah, easy! Is that all you got, Stuart? Is that all you- Oh my god. I'm actually dying. Eat, eat this, eat this shit, eat this shit. Put this on here. Oh, pota potatoes! I got 64 of them, give me this. What the fuck is that? Uh, sir? Hey! Oh! 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 Wait, what? Oh, I'm in water! Oh, shit. Wait, are they throwing axes? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, my God. Wait, what's happening? Are they illusions? Mirror image? Oh, that hurts. One of them is real. Dude, this AI is nuts. How come I haven't seen this mob? Oh my god! 
Ah, oh, I'm dying. Eat the potato. Ah, what a shot. Okay. It's gotta be the one moving away from me. Oh my god. Oh, I'm actually dying. This is wave five. Shit. 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 Do I have anything I can do? Yeah. I think it's this guy over there. I think I think I see him. It's not him. It's not him. Okay, I need to eat my food. Chillax. Oh. Dude, this is... I can't win. I can't win. You. Wait, I'm not understanding. How do I drink this? Oh, I throw it. <laughs> Whoops. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, maybe I need to hit him when he's not uh, mirror imaged. Or whatever. Can I distract you with iron? You bastard. Ah! There's a trick to these. Eat that. Take it. Take it. It's free. What's going on here? Do I need to escape? Is this escape room? Ah! I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> oh shit, I'm back. I was shot by Illusioner! There we go! Okay, so I have to hit him when he's not in that mode. Okay, okay, we can do that. We can do that. Okay. Go back. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Uh. Come on. Gotcha! Or I hit him at least. I think I know what to do now. Illusioner. I wonder where I could find this guy. Oh. Assume your normal form so I may hit you. <laughs> I don't know if. Wait, what? Hmm. This is a tricky one. Ow! Assume your form. Or unassume your form, I mean. Dude, look at all these arrows. These guys are not fucking around. Or this guy, I should say. Come on! Wait, dude, I s Stuart! Stuart Tactics! He's in- He's invisible. I fucking see him. I see you drinking. I see you drinking, bastard. I see you consuming that bastard. Come here. Okay, okay, okay. I got you now. I got you now. Just let me- Let me just- Oh, chill for a second. Fucking Stuart Tactics, motherfucker. Where are you? Where are you? Wait, are you flying? What's happening? Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> I'm not good at this at all. Hey, I, f I don't know if that... Ooh. Yeah. I feel like I, I didn't deserve that. Two rounds left. Oh, shit. Wait, where are my arrows? No arrows! Fucking chickens! Get them! Oh, this is not... Take care of the minions! Did it just say the killer bunny? Is this some Monty Python shit? Oh, wait, is that, a, is that what I think it is? Bro. Oh! 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 Oh my god! I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> hey! 
Oh, this guy's sick. Come here. Yeah! Oh, shit, right. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. You ain't got shit on me, boy! Let me eat. What? Excuse me? What the fuck? Woo! He does like a shockwave thingy. Fuck you. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. But it. Uh, what are these enemies? Oh, what the fuck, man. At least the shield is working. Oh, yeah, okay. I just keep respawning. I'm terrible at this game. Get him. Oh, so that goes through my shield. This guy is not fucking around. Okay, 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 okay. What the hell are these things? Oh, no. I'm getting my ass kicked here. Ah! Oh, we died with that? Oh, no. Well, you did it. Congrats. That was my obstacle course. Thank you for playing. Dude, that was awesome! That is so cool! Now enjoy the Minecraft museum. Oh no, look at that! He made the circle! Oh my god, this looks glorious. Oh my god! Welcome to the Minecraft Museum. In the first exhibit of the museum, all mobs are displayed with some cool facts about them. Feel free to skip over some stuff if it's too much. What's this? Dude, this looks so cool! Okay. Brown dye. This is the one. What? This is the one I couldn't figure out. Pig can be ridden with a saddle and a carrot on a. St really? Can be dyed any. Wait, really? What the fuck? I didn't even realize you could use this item like that. This guy has measles though. Chicken. Throwing a chicken egg has a small chance to spawn three chickens. Who's talking? Is it you? <laughs> what the hell? Goats? Some goats like to scream? They sometimes ram into other mobs or players. They drop one of their horns when they ram into a wall. Try them all. You are fucking kidding. Wait, I, I, I had this horn once. Wait, what? They sometimes ram into other mobs or players. They drop one of their horns when they ram into a wall. Try them all out. Oh. Oh, they're different. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, the screams they make are hilarious. Oh, uh, wow. Admire? I will admire this sheep right here. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't want to listen to them all right now. What is this? known to cause jump scares? Yeah, I, I, I know. Fox also has a snow. Ve Wait, have I seen these? Foxes cannot be tamed, but if bred, their children will not be scared of you. 
Maybe my memory's failing me, but I don't think I've seen a fox. Am I crazy? Oh my god, what are you suffering from? Uh, ocelot! A wild cat found in jungles. Used to turn into normal cats when tamed. But you no longer tame them. Oh, why not? <laughs> okay, dude. Can sit on your shoulder when tamed? Can you tame these? I didn't even know. They love eating cookies, which kills them. Uh. Really? Uh, why do they love it? Oh, it's poisonous to them? Well, if they love it... Eat, my children. Eat up. Here are the cats. Where's Maximilian Measles? I don't see him. Creepers are scared of cats and ocelots and will run away from them. The fourth variant is called Jelly, named and textured after the cat of the YouTuber Good Times with Scar. Really? This one? You don't want a cookie? <laughs> this one is fantastic. Frogs. What do they eat? Different variants spawn in different temperature biomes. They love eating slimes and magma cubes. When eating the latter, they poop out different colored frog light blocks. You are shitting me. Bro. I've tried everything on these bitches. And they want slime? That's what they eat? God damn. Axolotl has five variants, the left one being very rare. Can assist you fighting underwater mobs. Right, there was an achievement. Team up with an axolotl and win a fight or something. I remember that. Now, what are you? I remember finding these. LA. You can give the LA? LA? Like an alloy? You can give the LA an item after which it will gather more of the same item from the ground and bring it to you. Huh. I think I gave one of these my axe once, or my sword, by accident. Get it? By accident? No, that was terrible. Camel. Can be ridden by two players at once. When set on top, most melee mobs, like zombies, cannot reach you. Fucking hell. Oh, <gasps> Saddlebacks! Donkey can be equipped with a chest to allow some storage for... Bro! How is... How would anyone figure that out? I would love to have done that. I, has, I had so much storage issue. Mule. Horses and donkeys can be bred together, producing a mule. Mules are infertile. That's sad. The horses. There are a lot of different horse variants. Each horse has different statistics like speed and jump height. You can selectively breed horses to get better stats. What the fuck? This is so deep. Uh, some funkiness is going on over there. The llama can be equipped with carpets for decoration. When pulling one behind you with a leash, others will follow in a line. Bro, is that what Stuart does? Hey! I saw this one. Mooshroom. Oh, <laughs> mooshroom. I get it. Mooshrooms are exclusively found on the rare mushroom island biome. A mooshroom will turn into the brown variant when struck by lightning. When sheared, they drop their mushrooms and turn into regular cows. They can also be milked with a bowl to get mushroom stew. That's a horn of appreciation right there. I like that. That sounds really fucked up. How did anyone ever figure this shit out first? 
that a mushroom will turn into the brown variant when struck by lightning. D what? Panda. Found in bamboo jungles and also love eating bamboo. They can have different personality traits. For example, playful. Pandas can roll around. Yeah, I saw that one. I saw one of them. Rabbits. All, there's all kinds of variants of these too. Many different... Yeah, many different variants. One of which doesn't spawn naturally and is very aggressive. The killer bunny. Oh, shit, that's real? I thought the guy... Oopsie made this. Made him into that. Like, modded it. But it's real? This is a reference to the killer rabbit of Kerbanok from the film Monty Python and the Holy Grail. But yeah, I agree. That's awesome. Polar bear. Passive. Unless one of their babies is nearby. Then it will attack any player that gets close. I feel like I was that player that got too close at one point. Now you. Strider. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to click on the horn, but hell yeah, I'll give you a horn for that. Striders get cold, sad, and slow when not in lava, so you better keep them happily in the nether. Oh. But wait, wasn't there an achievement for... Oh. Oh, that shows players, I guess. Usually I have my uh, achievements bound to this, but I had to reinstall Windows, so I guess some of the keybinds got lost. Uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Sniffer? The sniffer is a rare mob that can be hatched from a sniffer egg. Which can be found by brushing suspicious sand in ocean ruins. <laughs> they sometimes dig up rare flower seeds from the ground. How is anyone ever gonna figure that out, dude? I thought I was... Steward. Wandering trader and trader llamas. The wandering trader sometimes spawns in your world to offer you some simple trades. He's accompanied by his trusty llamas. When it turns night, the trader drinks an invisibility potion to hide from evil mobs. Oh, he only does it during the night? I could have sworn I saw a steward day drinking. Steward. Fucking steward. Thanks for the obstacle course, Stuart. What was that? I don't. I actually don't know if that was in the game. Wolf. After taming a wolf, their colors color can be changed using dye. Oh man! You can see how much HP a wolf has by looking at how far up their tail is pointing. Feeding them restores. What? I didn't even realize that. Oh wait, so you're very damaged? Feeding them restores some... Cookie. Oh wait, wait what, what, what do they eat again? They eat uh, meat, right? I don't have any meat. But I have a horn. It'll have to do. This guy is doing some weird shit. Wait, what did I just get? Hey, there you go. Fishes, squids, and dolphin. This aquarium contains a cod, a salmon, three different tropical fish, a puffer fish, a tadpole, a regular squid, a glow squid, and a dolphin. Can you spot them all? Yeah, there they are. Right there. Yep. Villager. Village people. Come in many different variants, depending on what biome they spawn in, what profession they have. Yeah. I figured this out so late, by the way. You! Iron Golem. Yeah! Next to finding them in villages, you can also build Iron Golems yourself. Here it comes. I've been thinking about this so much. Simply place four iron blocks in a T-shape. And add a carved pumpkin on top. You can repair damaged iron golems using iron ingots. No, what? I, I don't think I would have ever tried that. But that makes sense with the pumpkin because of the achievement had a pumpkin on it. Oh, no. Oh, a snowman! S snow golem. 
Snow golems are a hidden mob that can only be built by the player by placing two snow blocks with a carved pumpkin on top. After building it, you can shear the snow golem to remove its pumpkin and see its real face. Yo, what? I really think it's so cool that they have these mechanics that are sort of hidden. I wonder who figured all this out first. Who was the first person to just try to build a snowman and this happened? That's so cool, you know? What the fuck? Stray? The stray are a variant of the skeleton that spawns in snowy biomes. They shoot slowness arrows. Oh. The skeleton, I think we know all about the skeleton. As well as all other mobs that normally burn in daylight, won't burn when they are wearing something on their head. Oh! Oh, okay. So, they, their brain is like, not good when it comes to sunlight. And a zombie. Small chance of dropping an iron ingot. A carrot or a potato. Sometimes when you are in a village, a siege of up to 20 zombies can spawn. When zombies are underwater for 30 seconds, they, tur they turn into drowned. Oh, so that's how that works. I thought they were separate. Husk is a variant of the zombie that spawns in desert biomes. When a husk hits you, it gives you the hunger effect. Husks don't burn in daylight. Dude, there's so much to all of this. The creeper. The model for the creeper was accidentally created by Notch. He's the guy who made Minecraft. When he was trying to model the pig. Because he swapped the length and height of the body. He liked it though and decided to keep it as a separate mob. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> now I want to now I want to know uh, what it was supposed to look like in his mind. Uh, regular spider. Small chance of spawning with a skeleton riding them. Which is called a spider jockey. Huh. Why is it called a spider jockey? What are you called? Silverfish can hide inside certain stone blocks. When a silverfish is attacked, other silverfish hiding in blocks nearby might come out of their block to help fight. Silverfish invested stone... Wait, what? Silverfish infested stone, I guess, can spawn in some mountain biomes. Oh shit, okay. And the cave spider? Fuck these guys. They almost killed my shit. Can only be found in big... In mineshaft, spawned by a spawner surrounded by cobwebs. When they hit you, they apply the poison effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Endermite? Have a small chance to spawn when throwing an ender pearl. Really? I have never seen that happen. I threw a shit ton of ender pearls. And then we have the good old Enderman. Takes damage in water and will teleport away when they touch it. This also counts for rain. Oh, that explains a lot. They can pick up blocks and place them again. <laughs> Their name and appearance is a reference to Slenderman. Yeah, I got that part. I've actually never played any Slenderman games. Hold on, that was a message just before. What did it say? Server will expire in 10 minutes. You're playing when you're serving. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to hurry up here. There are so many mobs. You know what? I'm just going to go up here and read. We're not going to make it. Gast! The sounds of the ghast are actually slowed down. Recordings of C418's cat being disturbed while sleeping. C418 is the composer of most of Minecraft's music. Really? That's a horn of appreciation there. That's cool. This is the... Uh... This is the guy from the Overlook Hotel. Vindicator. How do you know what they're called? Vindicators are v villagers that only spawn in woodland mansions or during raids. When you use a name tag to name a Vindicator Johnny, it will attack any mob it sees as a reference to The Shining! I knew it was a reference to The Shining, man. That's actually amazing. You, Phantom, can only spawn in groups during the night when you have not slept for at least three days. That's the trigger. 
They are the most hated mob in the Minecraft community. Really? I mean, they weren't that bad once I figured them out, but... Okay. You're a fucker. I hate these guys. Shulkers are mobs that hide inside their shells to look like normal blocks. When they, when their shell is closed, they take a lot less damage. They can only be found in end cities. Shulkers attack using bullets that apply the levitation effect. Yeah, I know all about that. I think I'm an expert on the subject by now. Um, what the fuck? A skeleton horse? They can sometimes spawn when lightning strikes. If you then get close to the skeleton horse, lightning will strike it again. Spawning four skeleton horses with skeletons riding them. What the fuck? Oh, this guy is not happy about me. He's, he's blowing me away here. This is the warden. A warden spawns when a player triggers a skulk shrieker four times. It cannot see and relies on sound to attack. However, it will sometimes sniff and walk towards you if it smells you. Bro. What the hell? <laughs> What's happening there? Hey, but dude. Dinner bone and grum? Naming any mob dinner bone or grum using a name tag. How do you use a name tag? We'll turn its model upside down. These names are references to developers of Minecraft. How did anyone figure that out? They must have been told. What the... Wait, why are you special? Toast. Naming a rabbit Toast using a name tag will give it a unique appearance. So I knew you could use name tags to name things. That was my idea at the end, but I just don't know how to do it. The name and appearance are a reference to a player's lost bunny, which a developer implemented a memorial. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty cool that they did that. Zombie horse is an unused variant of the normal horse. Zombie horses cannot drown. So what's happening here? A giant? The giant is an unused... Oh, so it's not in the game. Huge version of the zombie. In very early versions of Minecraft, giants were able to spawn in the world, but they were too overpowered and therefore removed. Dude, I think this is scary as fuck. I would love for that. Oh, here we go. Bro, this just goes on and on. Look at all this. Ender dragon. The ender dragon is the main boss of Minecraft. It can be respawned. Here we go. By placing an end crystal on each of the four sides... Of the portal in the end. Four sides. I'm not sure I understand that. I would have to see the portal again. I don't remember how that portal looks. How would I figure that out? I wonder. I I thought I had to place the ended crystals on top of the pillars again. To reset the fight. Because I destroyed them all. The first time around, right? This next exhibit will show some interesting blocks and items, as well as show how to make each potion. Okay. I'm just gonna go straight for the potions. I wanna leave a little bit uh, remaining here. Oh, hold on. What? Skulls and heads. Some of these blocks can be found naturally or dropped by mobs, while others can only be gotten through creative mode. Okay. Wait. That's a lodestone. I remember that texture. Right click a compass on the lodestone and the compass will point towards the lodestone. I don't remember. Did I figure that out? I feel like I said that out loud at some point, but maybe I didn't. Or maybe I just thought it. Horn of appreciation for that one. Hold on, I'm too curious. Slime block. Slime blocks are not only very bouncy, but they also stick to other blocks around them. This way you can push complicated structures with one piston. Oh. Oh. 
sure. Oh, that's pretty. Co what is this? This block is also used in structure generation to determine how different parts of. Okay, this is very complicated stuff. What is all this? Note blocks. Note block can be t tuned by right clicking it and will play its selected note by left clicking or using. What? I don't remember that. Placing a different blocks below or on top of it will change this instrument's sound. But wait, it's not making a sound when I right click on it now. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Thanks for this course. I had a lot of fun. No, okay, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, what is this over here? Monster spawner. Okay, yeah. So anything can be in there. These ones, you can fly with them, apparently. Elytra can be worn to allow wearer to glide through the air. If you use fireworks while gliding, it gives you a speed boost, allowing flight. Oh. So you can't fly with them normally. You just sort of glide. This, I don't think I would ever figure this out, dude. This is crazy. Right click this sign to view, ooh, to view all the brewing. Okay, here we go. Invisibility potion. Come on. Click this. Oh, so open, it's open to a website. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that now. Okay, I'm going to look at chat. Guys, what is the recipe for invisibility potion? Let's see it. Oh, I missed a name tag. There was a name tag. I need to understand name tags. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to read this real quick and then I'll look at chat again. Name tag. Name tags can be used to give mobs a name. To do this first, rename the item frame in an anvil. And then right click them. Wait, what do you mean item frame? To do this first, rename the item frame in an anvil. And then, so wait, I have to put the name tag in an item frame and then put it in the anvil? Oh, okay, okay, Stuart, thanks. Oh, wait, so I almost, I had it. I had it then. I did, I didn't, I try that, but I didn't. Uh, Take it out after. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Shit. Oh, I was so close. I did. I tried doing that, by the way. I put the name tag in the thing. I just didn't bother renaming it because I could rename every other item. I thought it was just the same, you know? Night vision. Plus fermented spider eye. Wait. Hold on. So I can make a potion with another potion as ingredient? And not just water? I would never have figured that out because I didn't know that was possible. I would have tried only with water and whatever ingredient. Look at the beacon. Where's the beacon? Beacon. Did I miss the beacon? I actually sort of forgot what it looked like. Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Beacon. The beacon has to be built on top of a pyramid. Hey! That's made of any material block to work! The more layers, the pyramid. Hey, I didn't I do that? Hey, didn't I make this? I put it on top of a pyramid in the desert. I, I, I don't think I, it worked. Probably I just did it wrong. Oh! That's the integration part. 
iron, gold, emerald, and diamond. Oh no! I could have made an iron base! That's what would give me the first level. And I'm guessing diamond would be the last level. Or actually, hold on. Netherite would be the last level. Because that was also on there. Well, I can check this. Yeah, look at this! Oh my god. Oh, it doesn't matter. It can be any of these. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I see. I think maybe if I had more time, if I had played more, I think I maybe would have figured this out. Because I was I was already playing with the idea of putting the thing on top of different pyramids. And maybe uh, this would have... By looking at this long enough, I mean, it's of course hindsight 2020, but I feel like maybe I could have figured it out given enough time. It, of course, it's hard to say. It's very hard to say, but there is a, there is a possibility. Um, okay, cool. Dragon egg. Yeah, actually, yeah. How do I pick this up? <laughs> dragon egg. The dragon egg spawns after defeating the dragon. Hold on. I just need to sort of... Get ready here. Okay. It can be picked up by making it fall onto a non-full block. Pushing it with a pi piston or by exploding it. What? Make... Sorry. What? What do you... Non-full block? Wh what does a piston have to do with picking it up? So wait, I have to push it to the side with a piston first and then use my hands to then take it? This is so confusing. What? Hold on. What are you guys saying? Make it fall on a torch? Is Okay, sorry. How does this make any sense? Why is this a thing? I'm not understanding the idea behind this. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, it's you! Oops! Oh, he, he put something down for me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, is it just me, or did this thing just get blown to high heaven, and I did not get to pick it up? Am I crazy? Whoa. Wait, what? Wait, I don't understand what's happening. Alright, I don't know. Well, it should drop. Oh, drop. Oh, it's like a server setting, I guess, then. Usually that would drop the egg. It drops... Tile drops or... Oh, okay. So it's like a server setting that, that messed with that. Well, imagine it dropped an item version of it. Oh, okay. But why does that make any sense? Like, why Why would it... How does pushing it with a piston allow me to pick it up? I'm just not understanding the logic behind that. Because there's for sure no way I would ever have figured this out. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Okay, fair enough. We're on the same page then. It's not lore. It's more like a bug. Oh, really? So you're not actually supposed to pick it up, but it's a part of the achievements, though. Minecraft does not make sense. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like the fact that there's some things that just don't make sense. Imagine applying for a job at Mojang. Or, sorry, I'm saying that wrong. Mojang. And you come in there and you look at the code and you go, Why, why do you do this with the egg? And then the other developers are like, You're right, doesn't make sense, but nah. Let's just leave it. <laughs> I kind of respect that, you know? Leave some of the oddities in. I think that's cool. Gravel being destroyed by torches. I, what? 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 Amethyst blocks. Amethyst crystals can only be obtained from... 
budding amethyst blocks from which they grow very slowly. They can only be found in amethyst geodes that sp spawn rarely on the ground. Yeah, I found them. Haven't found much use for them, though. They don't seem... What is this? Oh, copper blocks. Slowly oxidize over time? To prevent oxidation, you can wax them using honeycomb. The wax can also be removed using an axe. Right, there was an achievement for this. Wax on, wax off. I remember the name of that. Pressure plates made out of gold and iron will be weighted pressure plates that send out a redstone signal strength, depending on how many items are on top of it. Oh my god. I knew about the fact that it would send out a signal, because it's like a switch, right? It's basically a button for your feet. I guess. Hmm. I guess you can technically make music then. If you have all these notes, you can make songs. If you're committed. The dragon head can be found on the front of flying ships? Near end cities? When powered by redstone or worn by a player, it will open and close it. Wait, worn? Oh, white right. flying ships. I understand now. I was so confused by that. It's yeah, I remember there was a ship th um, shaped thing in the sky, right? Right. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I thought I just got that by right click, but I think Oopsie gave it to me. <laughs> Hold on. F5. Oh. <laughs> like, that's awesome. What is this turtle shell? The turtle shell is a helmet made from turtle scoots that allow the wearer to breathe on the water for longer. Oh my, how do you get this? That sounds super cool. So wait, are you saying all my turtle killing was justified? I just didn't do it enough? Okay, guys, did I, should I have killed more? No? Oh. Crap. Baby turtles drop it? You need to imprison the chill. Oh, so you're saying my killing was not evil enough. I had to go further. I had to become an actual villain to get my turtle head. <laughs> Oh, shit. Someone said, look at the blue circle at the end. Oh, this one. Heart of the sea. The heart of the sea is used to craft a conduit, which when placed in a specific structure underwater, allows nearby players to breathe, see, and mine more quickly underwater. I think I know exactly where to put this conduit. In that place that I wanted to go to with my invisibility potion. Right? God damn. Potato. Poisonous potato. You will sometimes get a poisonous potato when harvesting potatoes. Yeah, I've gotten that. You can do literally nothing with it and it will stay that way forever. Okay, guys. I actually... Uh I actually knew about this, because uh, Bojang Horseman told me about it. I was talking to the Minecraft developer about this when we chatted, and he mentioned this one. Because I asked him, are there items in the game that have absolutely no use? And he mentioned this. So I knew about the poisonous potato. Bojang Horseman told me that. <laughs> Trident? Okay, let's look at Trident. The trident can be thrown like a spear to damage mobs. Yep. It also has some unique enchantments that allow it to summon lightning. Automatically return to you or make you fly along with it? D Bro. I never considered enchanting them. Why didn't I think about that? Oh, that sounds so cool. Summon lightning for the achievement! 
that's how you would do it. Automatically return to you? Yo, that's so cool. That's like Thor's hammer. But this one, make you fly along with it. Jesus. I want that. This one, you hold in your hand and then you don't lose your items. If you're holding a totem of undying while dying, it saves you and gives you some effects to heal you a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just, it's like a second life. This is gonna say suspicious. Yes! See, I spotted this is suspicious. Wait, what are these blocks? That's what I'm curious about here. This looks glorious, man. Suspicious sand and gravel can be found in various structures around the world and will drop loot when brushed. So it is only in certain places. Well, I guess I sort of knew that. Indirectly. Your loyalty book was for the return. Oh, that makes so much sense. Oh, that makes so much sense. Loyalty brings it back. You've seen... Yeah, I was thinking how to use loyalty. I tried it on everything. You know what? If I had tried that loyalty... If I was experimenting with the loyalty stuff at my second house, I probably would have tried it on the Trident. Because I actually for a second thought about the Trident while I was looking through my items. I was like, ah, oh, shit, I don't have one here. So I can't try it. And then I promptly forgot about it again. Damn it. <laughs> Made from the quartz you kept mining for experience. Oh. I see. Alexei Tereshinok. Also, fortune on your pickaxe gave you more diamonds from diamond. From, from mining diamond ore, I guess you're saying? Wait, it does? It, I mean, yeah, that's what I thought it did, maybe. 51 diamonds. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I thought it was doing so well that day, but it was just the enchant. <laughs> I wonder how much more I got. You were very fortunate. You're right. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I was. I was very fortunate, yeah. <laughs> you did try putting loyalty on your hoe, which is pretty funny. Yeah, I know. Uh, check the black glass, please. This one? Tinted glass. Tinted glass is a glass block that lets no light through. Cool. Is that what you meant? Or did you mean another one? But that's actually pretty cool that it doesn't let any light through at all. Um. Cheers for that. But you were doing well that day. Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> I have a trident with a loyalty three. Let's try this. Hold on, where's the dragon? You can't be not throwing a trident at a... Not a dragon. <laughs> I can't speak English. There you are. Hey, sir! Come here. Oh, okay, that takes a while. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I wish I had figured that out, man. Hey, that's actually a cool effect. That's so nice. Oh, cool. Look at the sheep. Really? Didn't I already look at the sheep? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, it's, what? Jeb. Naming a sheep Jeb. 
Using a name tag will turn it into a rainbow sheep that changes colors. The name Jeb is a reference to one of the lead developers of Minecraft. What's up, Jeb? <laughs> Disco sheep. I can't get over this. This is just so silly. Dinner bone and grum. Lovely. Wow, that sheep has deflection on. I never did get to kill Bigger W. Okay, guys. Is it possible to kill Bigger W? I'm asking you now, of course. I mean, we no, we can you can say anything. Full spoilers. Yes. Oh. It is possible. But he has a lot of health. Okay. I see. <laughs> it's not meant to be killed? Oh, okay. I see. Wait. He doesn't drop anything? Oh, that's so sad. Why not? What if you finally do make it? At least give some diamonds or something. Right? He drops nothing of value and no XP. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. Dude, I love this horn. Admire. I admire all of this. I admire Upsha. I admire everyone who was part of this. Thank you, everybody. This was awesome. That's all. Thank you for playing our map. Made by Upsha, FF135, High Energy Magic, Mac Cheese 85 and Butcher's Bin. Thank you, everybody. This was so cool. This was incredible. Give him the thanks horn. You're right. I'm giving all of these the thanks horn. This is for all of you. Incredible. So awesome. Okay. Now. Uh, I guess I can just... Yeah, okay. Disconnect, I guess. is the Nice. Um... So, I guess what we can try now is to jump into uh, the server that you guys were playing on. Try creative now? Oh, okay. We can also do that. Uh, I'm going to create a world. Let's call it uh, a very creative name here, but creative world. Game mode... Creative. Let's put the difficulty on... Does that matter at all? Allow cheats on or off? No? Wait, what? What's happening? On? Oh, okay. On and creative. Okay. I'm creating new world. This is, te I think, technically my third ever world ever created. Because I created a world in the other version of Minecraft. Then I did it for the Java version. And now this one. Cliff Griff. Ten bucks. Thank you. My son got out of school and wanted to deliver a personal message. He says, The curse of binding prevents you from taking armor off. I expected it to be more personal. <laughs> oh, really? So that's what that does. The curse of binding prevents you from taking armor off. But okay, what? So here's a question though. Why would I purchase that book from a village person? Oh my god, this looks glorious. Oh! Oh, I guess I get to see everything. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I mean, I guess I expected as much. Cartography table. Conduit! End rod. Fucking end rods. What is the point? 
I recognize a lot of these, though. I feel like I did discover a lot of stuff. But then again, there's also a lot I don't re Like, what is this even? Sniffer egg. Turtle egg. Okay, never mind. There's a bunch of things I didn't find. Damn. Double tap spacebar? Oh, shit! I can go up and down. <laughs> hey, that looks pretty good. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> Look at my shadow. I'm walking in the while flying. <laughs> that's a bit janky looking, but okay. Bro, this looks glorious from up here. Oh, there's a cave. Hold shift to sprint fl fly. Oh shit. Of course I should I should I should know that, I guess. That makes sense. Oh, getting a bit of lag. I guess I'm flying so fast that the world is loading. Actually, it's running pretty well. All, all things considered here. I, w I was expecting this to lag a lot, doing this. Take an elytra fireworks and type game mode survival when on top of a tree or mountain. With double jump you will glide and when using the rockets you can fly. Uh, okay, I can try that. Let's see if I remember everything you told me. Take an elytra... Hold on, I need to... There we go. Had an, had an itch. I'm gonna go on top of this mountain here. How do I get down? Oh, okay, I just go down. Uh, Elytra. Oh, it's probably in items, right? Tools and utilities? There it is. Here? Hey! And then I need... Uh, Wait, why are there three different versions? I guess I take the one with more flight duration. Do you slash game mode survival. Oh yeah, it's Oh, okay, it's already sort of giving me options. Whoops. Game mode. Oh, of course, it's tab to autocomplete. <laughs> Set on game, so now I can't fly anymore. Oh, cool. And now, double tap. Oh shit, I didn't have it on. Whoops. <laughs> Oops, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I can go back, right? Game mode, uh, creative. Okay, hold on, hold on. That was just a test run. Give me that, and then give me this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let, let's go up to the mountain again. I'm gonna go to the same mountain. We're gonna go. Oh, I can sprint. Let's go super fast. There we go. Dude, being able to fly is insanely OP. <laughs> but I like it. Uh, oh my god! Look at all this powder snow. Bucket, a bucket of card. Okay, uh, but where's my inventory though? Oh, there it is. It looks so different. Okay. But wait, uh, oh wait, I'm still in. Never mind. Yeah, I understand. Hold on. I was like, I'm not falling at all. Uh, survival. Okay, here we go. Ready? It, yeah, I, I think that worked. Hold on. Let me do a sprint. Hey! Oh, shit. Bro, how would anyone figure out the firework thing? I can just keep going. Oh my god, I would have been able to fly! 
I mean, obviously I wouldn't have, because there's no way I would have figured out the firework stuff. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Oh, it's like, okay, okay, I see. So you lose a lot of height if you start to go down a lot. You can sort of glide a long while. Ow! That's awesome. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay, let's go back to creative. And now I can fly around. Oh! Haha! <laughs> Who's a god now? I am taking the best of the best. And I will murder you. Where'd you go? There you are. I was not expecting this, were you? Yeah! Where are you? This is what it feels like to be an Enderman. Just chasing somebody like this. I mean, they're not flying, but it could very well be flying, you know? Dude, this game looks incredible with these graphics. I mean, it, it does look very different in a weird way, but it looks cool. I enjoy, I'm enjoying the look. Uh... <laughs> Try to power a beacon. Right, let's try that. Beacon. Uh, search items. Oh. That's what I need. And then I, I need uh, iron. I guess iron blocks, right? Of course. But wait, I probably need a more. I need, I need more than that. Just give me 64. Throw that away. Take it. Okay, so hold on. Do I need to be... F3. I, ch I think I clicked this once. By accident. Remember? It's a long time ago. It's like a debug menu. Why, why, why should I click this? Whoops. I keep expecting my inventory to be when I click E, but it's like this window instead. It shows coordinates. It's a cheat option. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Hold on. Okay, so if there needs to be one on top, it needs to be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... They are right, and then I put it on top there. Oh, okay. Hey, there it is. Oh, but wait, I'm stupid. I should have made. Uh... I understand. I understand. I understand. Oh, that that's this is gonna be a big one then. I need uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Right? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oh, but wait. Oh, wait, there's, there's more than five. There's more than five, I think. Oh, how many are there? This is so hard to tell. Uh, one. So this, so if this is three, four, five, six. Oh, it's six. Okay. Oops. Oh, what am I doing? It's funny how you instantly destroy blocks, though. I like that. Uh, there. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, I had six before. Oh, no. This is good. Like that. And then you build like this. Dude, look how shiny this looks. Kind of cool. I think I fucked this up. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I fucked this up. It needs to be more. It's just hard to tell from this. Dude, this emits light. So if this look, if this is one block, three, 
four. Oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm not counting the other side. I'm so stupid. I understand now. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, this is gonna be huge. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That that also makes sense because it's an uneven number, and that's what you want if you want to end up with one block on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. This should this should work. Just from the math of it. <laughs> uh, would you go away, please, sir? I'm building things. Also, I'm noticing I'm not even using my 64 stacks here. It's just infinite. Okay, and now we do this. Dude, this is like a huge structure. Made of iron. You would require a shit ton of iron to make this. Even more reason to make... Uh, or to grab all the iron you see, right? Cool. Yeah, see, this makes sense. Here we go. Whoops. Oh, wait a minute. It's lighting while I walk with it. Oh, wait a minute. Is this graphics uh, pack here actually affecting gameplay too? I feel like that's cheating, maybe? I don't know. Beaconator. Wait. Oh! So, I see, I can choose one of these and then have this one. Speed? Uh... Weird. So wait, because I put iron here, do I need iron ingot then? <laughs> I'm getting all these ad advancements. Okay, guys, how do I do this? Feed it some material. Now, now pay with ingot. I, that's just what I did. Hmm. Need to ch Oh! Oh, of course! Oh! Oh, that's ama- How big of a range, though? Oh! So wait, this allows me to mine faster? I'm guessing here, hold on. Uh, how much is it? Game mode? S survival. Oh, but wait, I don't have a thing now. Shit. Let me go back. This is so weird. I feel like I'm cheating a lot, but that's of course what I'm doing. Um. Pickaxe. Let's make that one. And now we T game mode. Uh, what is adventure? The hell is adventure? Okay. Dude, this has a sick range. You would put this. Oh my god, this looks so good. You would put this down. Oh, somewhere. And then uh, w when you have a place you want to mine a lot, you know? Or whatever. See, now it's not... Actually, I still have the buff on. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Get away from me. Be distracted by the light. Oh, I can just go this, of course. Hold on, I just want to test. Now I have the buff on. Oh no. Yeah. 
I mean, it was definitely faster. I, I do remember. Whoops. Game mode! Creative! Ah! Bastards! I, I, I was not cheating fast enough. <laughs> Amazing. Time, set, day? Oh my god. Set, day. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Okay. Press arrow up. What do you mean? The recovery compass. Right. It's just gonna lead me back to my death, right? Yeah, look, the beacon is... O oh my god, you can see it from a... So it is a beacon in a way as well! A like a real beacon, you can see it from a distance. Like a beacon. So I wasn't totally off with that. That's pretty cool. Put a colored glass on top of the beacon. Oh, I guess that's gonna change the light, huh? Uh... Let's put red. Whoops. Wait a minute. Hold on. I need to do an emergency thingy. Hey! <laughs> Fantastic. Dude, you can put these around the world. And have basically beacons. Saying, this is where I have this shit. This is where my other place is. Whatever. Right? Shift click? Hold on. It's going so fast, I can't actually read it. Missed a great learning experience? What do you mean? Sh sh shift click what? Shift click to place on interactable blocks. No. Oh, wait. Uh. No! <gasps> You're fucking kidding me. What? Are you shitting me right now? Oh. Oh, that's... I mean... Wow. Oh, Lord. That's horrible. Oh, sorry. I also think I missed... I missed someone donating before. Um... Ah, why does it pause when I alt-tap? Guys, can I make it not... I, I want to listen to the music still. Can I make this not pause when I alt-tap? Is that actually possible? Uh, hold on. Harry Sales. Super sad that I will not get to watch this live, but excited for the VOD. Harris, hello in the future. When you're watching this VOD, I'm talking to you. Thank you for the five bucks, and I hope you appreciate it. Or I like the stream or whatever. I hope it's fun. Isanti, two euros, finally shift clicking. We waited for this. Damn, I never figured it out. That would have been so helpful, dude. I can't believe it! Oh, yeah. A Someone said combine them for different colors. Let me do purple. Or hold on. Yeah, let's try a purple. So, so wait, I, I guess I can fly. Oh, but wait, how do I... Okay, okay. Okay, so it's like a combination almost. Oh, look, it's red here and then it becomes blue. Or like purple. And now it's very purple. I can make it a little more red now. And now it's very red. Oh, that's cool. Stuff like this? I don't think I would ever have figured that out. I mean, it's easy to say that, of course, in the moment. Maybe I would have, who knows? Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> F3 plus P to disable pausing. Oh, okay. 
Oh! Hey, thanks! Look here, I'm all tapped right now, but because I uh, I downloaded a mod for full screen windowed, or borderless full screen, sorry. The game is still running and we can listen to the music when I'm all tapped. That way I can actually interact with you guys as well while we listen to the music. I tried with glass paint to make the glass hide inside the beacon. Really? Whoops. So hold on, glass pane. I guess I can just go like this. Oh, right. Oh! Oh, but you can only have one, I guess. How do you remove it? Oh, look! Ah, I see! Also, am I crazy or is this new music? Is this creative music? Oh shit, there's even more music and creative! Hey. I tell you, this game has infinite music, man. I feel like I'm hearing new music every time. That's awesome. Dude, I love the way this looks. Uh, not the purple, actually. The purple is, clashes with the aesthetic. But I do like that. Actually, I like the white one a lot. Whoops. I actually like this one the most. <laughs> I am I am a default man. Default David. That's me. Go inside the beam? I don't know, man. That doesn't sound pretty safe. I'm ascending to the heavens! <laughs> hey! Okay, so I can I can actually uh Whoop <laughs> Without shaders it's way cooler. Hold on, there's actually a keybind for that. Oh no. I saw that when I loaded the thing, it gave me a keybind, but I guess I didn't turn it off. K. Oh! K. I don't know what I hit. I hit some other button. Wait, what? Oh, wait, I... Oh, wait... Eh. Huh. Oh, okay, it doesn't work anymore? It's probably one of the mods I have installed. I installed, um... F uh, f uh, what was it called? Forge, I think the mod was called, and Sodium, and something called Iris. And then this graphics thing on top of it. And then the last mod is the full screen mod. It's sodium? Okay. I actually missed two survival mode tracks? Shit. How is that even possible? I've been playing the game for so long. Hold on, K. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. You can just sort of switch it on and off. Chat debated on shift click like 40 episodes ago if we allowed to tell you this. How is your stance on quality of life features like these? I mean, I'm a purist, so my stance is the same as it's always been. Think about it. If I discovered that on my own towards the end or something, it would have been so cool. But if you had said something to me on episode 10 or something, that moment could never have happened. I mean, it didn't happen. But we never know if it could have happened, you know what I mean? Oh my god, this music is getting way too loud. Let me just turn this down a bit.
Dame. Try game mode spectator? Oh. So you're just like, uh, you don't have a body anymore. It's like a spectator. And right click on mobs. Wait, what? Oh! Whoa! What the fuck? These are all the caves! Dude, this looks fucking crazy! I, I, I am completely blown away by this. What the fuck? No wonder I keep finding caves randomly when I dig. I was like, damn, I'm getting lucky or something? I'm always finding some cave. Jesus Christ! This is unbelievable! Scroll the mouse wheel up to go faster. Oh! Thanks. Let's go, let's go day, uh, day again. Day, time, t no, time, day. Time, set, day. There it is. Bro. That is crazy, dude. Okay. Yeah. I think it's time I join the server anyway. You're right, Wolf. Let's get in there. Let's check it out. I'm, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I get distracted so easily by these things. Um, let's see. Hold on. Left click a mob. I can do that. <laughs> oh my god. POV, you're a pig. Pretty awesome. Wait. How do I get out? Oh. Okay. The same way you get out of a boat. Amazing. Can I can I become a pumpkin? I was told I could become anything. I kind of want to do this on an Enderman. Guys, can I somehow get to the end really quickly like this? I'm just going to really quickly go to the end. Oh, summon Enderman. Yeah, let's just do, let's just do that. Oh! Hey, sir! What? <laughs> His vision is inverted? Wow. <laughs> so that's what he sees. That's actually pretty awesome. I love it. A creeper? Let's summon a creeper. Hey, my dude. <laughs> of course. It sees red. Sorry, it sees green, but I would think it sees red, because all it wants to do is kill. This is night vision. A spider? Let's do a spider. <laughs> Summon. Spider. <laughs> you have six eyes. And one of them is tilted as well. Oh, that's good. Why is this even a thing, dude? Why is this even a thing? 
Amazing. I'm gonna summon an Ender Dragon, yeah. Someone said Ender Dragon. Wait. Oh! This one. Oh lord! Come here! Oh wait, it's left click. Oh, wait. What's happening? Whoa! Oh, it doesn't work, I think. Okay, this guy can uh, do his thing. Oh, this is lagging. I think this is causing lag. Ooh. Laggy lag, lag, lag. Oh, wait, wait, what's, what's this? Oh, close menu. Kill? Oh. I killed myself. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go on the server now. I'm curious to see what's going on there. Let's see here. Um, let me go on Discord. To see here, server IP. Jen sent me the server IP. I'm gonna join that. Look at me, multiplaying. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Everyone's here. Oh, shit. What are we looking at? Dude, this is so cool. What's everybody up to, huh? What's happening? Oh, my God. Wait, is this actually... Am I... Is this a survival world? It must be, right? What's this? Oliver's starter gear. Good luck. Oh, really? I get to have this? How does this work? Should I just... Should I just destroy the glass? <gasps> Dude. Hey. I finally got the achievement. <laughs> Amazing. I'm gonna put this on. Guys, you I can't wait to see what you've been building in here. Fireworks are going off. And the Minecraft music is playing. Look at all the beacons! You guys used beacons everywhere! This is crazy. <laughs> Let's see if I re uh, recognize some names here. Wolf, I recognize. Isanti is here. Flowart, I think I've seen your name as well. Limonade, I recognize you. Frog. Kuga also. Frag MX, good to see you. So many people here. I wonder how many are in here. Oh wait, I can see that. There's like one. Okay, I can't. I can't count that. But I can see the names here at least. Yeah. What does it mean when there's a little tilde in front of it? This is so cool. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look around here, man. I need to see what's going on. So this is what you guys have been up to, huh? What is this? Oh my god! Special price, one flower, one smile. Aww. Bro, I'm feeling... Oh, look at your houses! Oh my god! Hold on. How is this even real? My house looks like shit! Compared to this? Oh, I just got a bunch of buffs on me. This is from the beacon. Oh, look at this, man. <laughs> I'm feeling so inferior right now. Let me let me tell you. This is 
beautiful. Oh, you can put flowers in these? Whoops. I think I just did something I shouldn't have. Oh, wait, I got something. <laughs> How is this possible? How did you do this? What is... <laughs> What is that? What is that? <laughs> Guys, this... Oh no, am I wanted? Whoops. I will treasure this map. This is a nice map. And I have a baked potato and some bread. I feel like you guys want me to do something special with this bread. What the hell is that? What's this? The fuck is that? Hold on, I need to- Oh my god, look at how beautiful everything is here. Uh oh. What is- What is happening? Top gift shop. I'm so overwhelmed by the nether hall of cubists. The bottom. I want to go to the top. <laughs> what is all this, dude? Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this server. The signal from the cube. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Oh. Uh. May the cube last eternal and never come to harm. It is a mere projection of the Tesseract. Could you elaborate, please? Diorite is awful. It's a diorite cube! It's a solid block of diorite! Bro! You made this! So wait, this means you collected all this shit! You actually went out and found all this diorite! Ha! <laughs> You walked all the way up. <laughs> I did. I did walk all the way up. What the hell, guys? What is going on? Look at people flying around. This is so cool. It's so weird seeing other players in Minecraft. So weird. Let me take a look at this over here. Oh, that's the sound. People are shooting off fireworks. Because they're flying around. Jump, I dare you. What is all this? Just to make sure my sign will forever be the highest wolf. Haha, <laughs> mine's higher now. Boblins was here. <laughs> Holy shit! I can't believe you guys fucking made all this. Oh, what is that? Oh wait, I have this too. I can do this. Hey! Oh, oh shit. Oh, made it. Bro, you built all of this. My question is, did you actually terraform all of this? Incredible. Oh! 
No. Fly. Fly up there. We're going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it feels so weird. Oh. Ow. Uh-oh. I don't want to destroy anything. I don't want to destroy anything. There's a portal here. Hold on, I'm, I need to see what's in here. Uh-oh. Hopefully everything is working. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. What the shit is this? Bro, uh, uh, uh. Whoa, look at me soaring. Wait a minute, is this impenetrable rock? Did you fucking dig all the way down and cleared everything? What is that? This is like some weird fucked up shit. What's going on here? This is creeping me out. What is that? Wait, why is it all red in here now? I wish I had a spyglass. Short senseless ride. Enter minecart. No, come here. Yeah, come on. We're going for a short senseless ride. I am completely flabbergasted at what I'm seeing here. Oh. I feel like my, my, my mind cannot contain everything that's happening in front of me. How did you guys dig all this way down and do all of this? What's happening? Oh! I understand! When you walk past it, it triggers this which triggers the light. And the sound because this thing. Oh, that's cool, man. That's so cool. Hold on. Uh. Whoa! This is so crazy that I can do this. What is this up here? <laughs> it's a portal. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh! What is this? Ow! That hurt. Drink up. Hey! I'm invisible! Stuart! If only you could see me now. What is this? Why do you have... What is happening here? This is some kind of contraption. Whoops. What the hell is going on? Hold on. I'm looking at chat right now. What the hell am I looking at? What is this? Mass production factories? I feel like... I gotta be honest, guys. This place I'm in and what I'm seeing here... I feel like... Should we even... Should we... Should you guys have done this? I feel like there there are certain things you may not, uh, like you shouldn't do. You know, it's not a question of if you can; it's whether or not you should. Like, what is happening? This is scaring me. I'm scared. All of this is scaring me right now. Why? Why do we have? Why did you dig all of this? I need to understand what's what's going on. 
I need to eat a potato. I'm eating my bread. Actually, I'm not eating it yet, but... You're in the nether roof? You're playing God. I'm not. This is insane. What's this? A chorus fruit. Oh. Oh. You're above the nether. They didn't dig. Wait, really? But I went through the portal. Uh. Okay, type TP, accept. Uh, name? Kach Pereki. Hey, it worked. <laughs> the portals were put there manually. They glitched. Oh, so wait, I'm not in the nether. I thought I was in the nether. Oh, I am? Oh shit, I'm so confused. It's above... Okay, okay. So they sort of glitched through it, it seems. You are in the nether. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go back out. This is all blowing my mind to crazy degrees. I'm gonna exit this cave. I can't exit here. I guess you guys are mining here. <laughs> I like we're all having a party in this cave. Here we go! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and get out again to where I was. Let's see if I remember where I came in. Dude, hold on. I need to check this out. Whoa. Oh, wait. Shit, I fucked up. Uh, this one. I like the wind effect. Whoa. Oh! What the shit is this? Guys, why did you make a huge platform? With lava blocks and pigs on boats, and gl glad I, I'm I'm not I don't understand what's happening. Are you guys okay? It's a gold farm using pigmen. You are seeing things mere mortals are not supposed to see. I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, explain to me how this works. How does this produce gold? <laughs> I don't, what? What? Oh, move YouTube chat to a different corner? I can do that actually, hold on. Oh yeah, right, it blocks all the chat. I see that, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna put it... There. Something like that. Okay. Is that okay? And put it on the right side. Okay. So, this is insane. What you guys are doing here. And you also have a library in here, it seems. Uh... I think someone just got smashed. I got some armor out of it. Oliver's chest plate. What is this? Guys, everything I'm seeing here, is this like uh, standard stuff in the game that you can actually get? Or is, or is some of this modded in? Like the cape here, for example. Or sorry, not the cape, the shield. Is it all part of the game? It's all standard stuff. Oh, shit. Whoops, did I take something? Sorry. I'm gonna put this back. 
What else did I accidentally take? I think if it's if it's this Oliver's on it, I think it's mine, right? The map is modded. Oh, the map, the, the one I have in my hand, I guess. Yeah, I figured. Like, wait, why does it look like this? It's like my hand is invisible. Oh, it's because I'm invisible. <laughs> Uh, it didn't go- uh, yeah, of course that makes sense. Oh, wait, I need the cape. Map is not modded? Wait, what do you mean? Hold on, I have- I, ha I think I have a theory on how you did it then. Ow, ow, ow. You must have... Um... Okay, this is crazy, but... You must have terraformed a piece of the land. And made a map of it. Right? Someone really built a huge face and made a map! That's incredible! Holy shit. Wow. That is dedication. Now I'm so impressed by that. Guys, I'm scared by what I'm seeing. What is this? You can't see me, but I have a total look of disgust on my face. Oh my god, they're all being murdered. And their items are being funneled into a chest. Oh, I took a shield that wasn't mine. Hold on. Oh, I don't even know where I am, bro. I need to get home. Where's home? Maybe someone can teleport me to the spawn, yeah. That would be cool. I'm sort of lost. Ugh. I managed to- somehow I managed to get lost. On a server with lots of people trying to show me where to go. It's actually incredible. Uh... X... no wait. TP... What does it say? TP accept. Gen the owl. Ah, here we go. There we go. Damn. And you build a ship as well. Swim on over. Whoa. <laughs> Oi! It's too heavy! <laughs> Yo, that's fucking great! <laughs> Return of the Obra Din, bro. The Obra Din, built by Lexi. Huge thanks to everyone who donated materials. May contain spoilers for Return of the Obra Din. Yeah. Don't don't look at this now if you haven't played Return of the Obra Dinn, because it's an amazing game and you should not get spoiled by it. Please leave everything as you found it. Oh, sorry. Oh wait, I need to look in this book real quick. Hey, that's so cool. Okay, don't look if you haven't played the game. Ah, oh, they even wrote all the thi that's fucking cool. I'm gonna put that back. That is amazing. Really cool. Let me see. <laughs> no way! How is that real? So you made a song out of the note blocks, I'm guessing here. <laughs> oh, wow. And here we have a corpse. I wonder who killed them. Ha ha ha.
Do we have a guy on the outside here on his way down? No? <laughs> oh wait, yeah, we have a death here, of course. He got stabbed. Yep. Another one in the bed. Yes. <laughs> this is incredible. I need my horn of, of appreciation here. The horn of appreciation needs to be rung. Or blown, I should say. This is incredible. What's in here? It's just a chest. I know who was standing here, by the way. The one who was listening. Oh, sorry. I, I shouldn't be talking about all this, actually. Oh, this is exactly as it should be. This is incredible. It's funny how I remember all of this in detail as well. When you spend that much time in a game, you just remember these things. Hold on, I need to go down below and see if there's the thing I expect there to be. Probably not, but let's see. It's, it's exactly how I remember as well. This is done so well. Oh, the staircase is the famous staircase. Oh, wow. Is there a guy hiding in here? <laughs> so cool. I can't believe you actually did all this. Incredible job, Lexi. It was Lexi, right? Hopefully I didn't get that wrong. And little storage compartments and shit. Rotten flesh. <laughs> Very fitting. Wow. Whoa, the cannons! That's actually so well done. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do we have the guy pooping? Yeah! The poop man! Poop noises! Squishy green thing. I don't know if you're here, but I thought of you just now. Not because of the poop, but because of the noises. Very cool. How did... How on earth did you make this the music, though? I mean, I'm guessing you, you, you're using redstone and, and the note blocks, right? But it's just crazy to me. Oh, by the way, I have someone's shield. It's called uh, she. Whoops. Someone is throwing things. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the ground over here. I'm gonna put it in this boat. For, for whoever's missing it. Oops, it's sort of in the water now. I don't, I don't know whose shield is this. But I took it by accident. Okay. It's Limonade shield. Okay, sorry, sorry, Limonade. I accidentally picked that up. Okay, I just want to take a look around here real quick at what you guys have done. This ship is absolutely wild. Look at this over there as well. A glass cube or something. Your constructions are just so good. Why am I carrying around this fucking <laughs> wanted poster? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this is so cozy! Oh, wow. I feel like I, ha I have not even begun to scratch the surface when it comes to building things. Oh, this- oh, that looks cool. So inventive. I'm starting to realize how little imagination I have. Jesus Christ. Oh, the spirals. Oh, that looks so good. Incredible. Oh. Stuart's wife. I wonder why you also have a picture of her here. That's very curious. And there's Stuart. Very fitting. Stuart? Is this your house, Stuart? What's going on in here? Yo, all of this looks so good. And they're so different, too! Look at this one. It's like pink and black. Oh, and a little pond. Jen's house. Built by the server owner Jen, the house was one of the few bases to be up on the second day of the server. 
It was the original source of the cherry aesthetic on the island. I, I don't want to take the book. Oh my god. This is so good. Please leave all messages in the mailbox, not signs. Am I allowed to enter, Jen? I'm gonna take a look around. What's like a little table and shit? Yo, this is organization. You can put... I mean, I guess I always knew I could have put things with names on them down. I, mean, I can't, can't even speak, I'm so flabbergasted. Like, science is what I'm trying to say. What is this even? How did you write on this? This does not look like a sign at all. Or maybe it is, I don't know. So good. You have actual furniture. Incredible. I feel like I should be taking pictures all the time to, <laughs> for my inspiration scrapbook. <laughs> oh man, I'm just thinking about my houses now and I feel so not enough, you know? I feel like I'm not, I don't have the imagination. I mean, I've never been very creative. It's just a fact, but this is blowing me away. Map room? No way. Uh, there's an Enderman in a boat here. He's doing things. What the shit? Yeah, like I said, this place is sort of scaring me a little bit. I don't know why these things are like this. Information. Owl house. Wolf. Originally built during the first few weeks of the servers, it was first a house made out of stone and cherry wood. But after Wolf's burning of the egg, an unknown server member set fire to the house. Then, after it was fixed up, it was set on fire for a second time. It was abandoned for quite a while after that. Later, Wolf returned and demolished the old house and built a new one. The new house is a copy of the Owl House from a show called The Owl House. Written by Wolf. Beautifully written, Wolf. I must say. But you have blood on your front... What the shit? What am I looking at? There's a cake. Sorry you died. You have a free box of frog cookies. Now made with real frogs. <laughs> oh! You can name items, right? You can name everything. Anything and everything. Ender chest. Look at the actual furniture. Why does everyone have a picture of Stuart's wife stowed away? Hmm. Wolf smells. Frog. There's something going on with you two. I'm starting to pick up on something here. I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like I'm too scared to ask. I don't know why I keep checking chests. It's like a weird habit of mine. When I see a chest, I gotta click on it. What's upstairs? They are married? Wait, are they really? Hey! Wolf socks! <laughs> this was such a beautiful sight, and then I see this. I can't get over, you made a cube of dire. Okay. Is this one a solid cube? Is this a solid cube? Is it solid? Or is it is it just the walls? Solid? Christ almighty. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That is nuts. <laughs> Read the info book for more information. Hold on. Let me try that. Whoa. I think I missed the info book. Information. 
Name the one true cube. Lexi made it. Even before the server was set up, Lexi had the idea to build an ever-expanding cube of solid and pure diorite. Starting on day one with nothing but a stone pickaxe, work began on excavating diorite from below the built site. To this day, the ground under spawn is riddled with shallow mine shafts and pockets of air, where veins of diorite used to be. Within the first few days, a rivalry formed between Lexi and Jen, who had built a false cube closer to spawn, dubbed the Olivian Church of Diorite. In response, Lexi started the Order of the Pure Cube, a semi-cult dedicated to enlarging the one true pure cube and ensuring it was made of nothing but pure and solid diorite. Its members include only Lexi, Samuel, the Axolotl, and Diorite Frog. <laughs> diorite Frog? Their organization's headquarters can be found on the beachfront in the cube shadow. As the pure cube slowly grew to massive proportions, eclipsing the efforts of the false one, Lexi decided on a final size for the cube at 64 by 64 by 64 blocks of diorite, also called a tensor cube. She was around 20% of the way to this goal at the time, but many dozens of hours later, the cube was finally complete. Containing 262,144 blocks of diorite, 4,096 stacks or 76 shulker boxes. The one true pure cube is considered by some to be the crown jewel of Cherry Hearth. Many others contributed blocks, time and resources to the cube's construction. And it could never have been completed without their help. They are named and acknowledged on the, in the Hall of Cubists ahead of you. You can also ascend to the top for a good view of spawn. I hope your visit is spiritually fulfilling and may the cube's blessing be upon you. Also make sure you exit through the gift shop. I'm so sad I didn't read this the first time I was here. Written by Lexi. Cube. <laughs> I love it. Let's check out the, ha the hall of cubists. Who contributed to this masterpiece of solid amazingness? The Hall of Cubists in memory of all who just dedicated themselves to the cube in some way. Hold on. Let's turn this up a bit. Let's see here. An egg. Jen, for the server, the friendly rivalry and the final eight blocks from the original cube. This is so cool. Trenye, Reef, and Hammer of Faces for their help in laying the last few layers of blocks. Darth K.R. Kuga. I remember the word, uh, the name Darth, so maybe that's why I didn't quite recognize that. For three boxes of diorite in the final donation drive and the nice hot springs. And then we have a burning skull, which is not at all concerning. DM for one box of diorite at the end. Good job, DM. What? <laughs> Dr. Purple. For the shulkers that changed everything, cute lunchbox is available in the gift shop. This is amazing, dude. Then we have Rafinha. For the early shulkers, the support and one box of diorite in the final donation drive. Scoot and Dog. For the endless supply of iron and mending that helped this project and this server function. What the hell? Right, I th it's a girl with a sheep, I think. Dude, doesn't this look like the thirsty man? You know the ad for Tupo or Carlsberg? There's this ad of a guy in, mid in the middle of a desert with a suit on and a he has a walking stick. And he's standing there sweating. It's called the thirsty man. Look, kind of looks like that if you s squint your eyes a bit and use your imagination. Tommy, for my first diamond pick. Wolf, for my second diamond pick. And for the Enderman farm that mended many a cube feeder. I'm a little lost on a lot of these um, terms here. And Lexi, the prophet of the cube, who began it with a stone pick and finished it with a community. Oh, that's so beautiful. 
You guys are amazing. You made all this happen. You created a massive block of cu of cube. <laughs> of diorite. Incredible. So cool that you have a hall of cubists. Let me just... Oh, I can't get... A, I, I just wanted to see... Rafinha. I see people. Bro. I had no idea you could make this so big. That is crazy. Okay, let me see here. There was also a gift shop. M model cubes for personal use. Spruce up your room. <laughs> I fucking love this. I'm taking some. I need a souvenir. Write something on the cube with these free signs and scaffolding. I want to do that. I want to write something on the cube. I'm gonna put it... I don't know where to put it. Oh! Oh! I'm just gonna put it, I guess, somewhere I can. Maybe here. Whoops. There. What is this? Authentic cube lunch boxes. Really used to feed the cube. Wait, what? Cube lunch box? Hold on, I'm just gonna... Oh! It's a shulker box! Arrow of harming. Oh my god. Arrow of harming. How do we even get that? Official cube posters. Spread the good word of cube. <laughs> oh, that's what this thing on the sign is. I've seen this symbol here before. It's a cube picture. I want to spread the love of cube. I will wander far and wide and spread the good word. Incredible. I'm loving the way you sort of created little... I don't even know what to call these. Sections. On the beacons here. Pretty cool. Better skeleton grinder on Isle of Dog. I feel like there's so much lore here that I'm not even scratching the surface off. We have a barrel with an ender pearl in it. House of Mitch. Let's check out Mitch's house. You have a grindstone thingy. And you have items. I'm not gonna peek in your eye. It's just a, it's just a thing. It's a habit I have. Of just right clicking everything. Look at this. It's all made out of bamboo. So inventive. Eye-level oven! You even have a very high eye-level, very high eye-level oven. And, and you have sort of a feet oven. You can put your feet in there. Get them nice and toasty. Sounds like something I would do. Put the feet in there, I mean. Because my feet are always cold. Welcome. See, this is insane that you guys built all of this. And you actually, like, look at this path right here. It's actually made intentionally. It's not just random. It's actually a path. For fuck's sakes, house. Oh. Very cool construction here. I I'm saying walking around as if I'm some sort of judge being like, Yeah, pretty good. I like the way you sort of meshed in a bit of... A bit of texture there, and nice coloring on the bed. I give this a 10 out of 10, you know? Uh, very much up there. A very traditionalist uh, style and all that. <laughs> I don't know shit. I, I just look at everything, and my jaw drops, you know? <laughs> Anything here that I see is incredible. Compared to what I'm used to, man. You also made some kind of tower. 
I need to see that. That looks intriguing. I feel like you also made these islands. These were not natural, were they? You actually went ahead and made the... Is this the false cube? Excuse me. The schism has been mended. See the great cube to the west. These ruins remain here as a reminder of the original church. Olivian Church of Diorite donations. How dare you! We will only accept pureness in this place. Diorite. Wolf was here. There's names on these benches. Diorite. Guys, I can't get over how incredible all of this is. Isle of Dog, best isle. There's some sort of competition going on between Frog and Wolf, I think. Starting to believe they're not really married. A chill place to chill? I chill here sometimes, Floart. Oh my god, you made a cheer. That is a nice chill place. I approve. 10 out of 10 on the chillness scale. Here we have a nice house. I think I was in here already. I'm sort of walking in circles. Not surprisingly, I have a tendency to do that. Automatic bread washing station built by Lexi. <laughs> Never again will you have to clean your bread by hand. Gross dirty bread. Okay, listen. I can tell I'm not gonna finish exploring this place in one evening. How about we throw on some videos here for the end? Because it is getting kind of late. And then uh, we can pick this up in the future. I, th I think I'll even make a house in here at some point. I, s I sort of need to be here. I feel like. I want to have a house somewhere. What do you guys think? Yeah? Okay. Map room? Okay, where's the map room? I just want to see that, actually. Can someone lead me there? Limonade? I see you. I'm following you guys to the map room. <laughs> map room, here we... Oh, people are wanting to teleport me. I actually kind of want to walk. I want to see what's around me while we go there. I want to explore this nature. This is incredible, by the way. Whoever made that up there. So cool. Wait. Fuck, where have I heard that? Where, where did I hear that? That tune is... It, yeah, if it, it's fucking out of wilds, of course. It was tugging at some very deep strings in me. I had to, like, I remember this. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so awesome. Kind of really different playing in multiplayer, isn't it? It's not as lonely. I mean, obviously, but you're not. You don't feel as isolated. And it's not as dangerous, it seems. Oh, see, now this is a bridge. See, this is a bridge, man. God damn, this looks good. This is the kind of bridge I want to make. Oh man, we have Danish flags over there? Is that actually... ...real? I wonder if Lars Linne made that. Wait, why can't I shoot them? Ah, I can! <laughs> Let's see the map room. This way? Oh, you can- you even- you, you made some kind of gesture with your hand just now. You can actually make gestures. You were like, beckoning me. Pretty cool. What is that? 
For Oliver's eyes only? Oh no, what's this? Should I read this? Resin Shrine. This trial shrine is dedicated. Enter its depth to test your skills and gain the greatest reward humans have yet to discover. You have to break in through the front. Organized by Resin. Shrine Outerior, designed by Purple. Outerior, I love that. Puzzles and Obstacle Course, designed by Resin. Interior designed by Purple. Hammer of Faces and Resin. Guys, what is all this? Do I, do I need to have a weapon or something? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm just gonna do this real quick. I feel like I'm, I'm too excited here. I need a book here, right? Nice lamp. The chest? Is there a chest? Oh! Okay, listen. I'm gonna do this next time. Uh, because I also want to just finish off with a video before we end. We're gonna have to do a second one of these for sure. Maybe we'll just weave them in through the uh, throughout the Rain World stuff. I'll do this one the next time. If I... Quick question though. If I log out here, will I get back in here? Next time? Yes? Perfect. Okay. You will save position. Nice. Okay. So I'm just gonna disconnect. And I'm gonna go back on that server in the future for sure, because there's still so much to see, and it's kind of amazing what you guys have done. Okay. So check this out. I have a... A keybind for this that I forgot. Great. Um... Okay, so what should we watch? I guess, uh... I guess there's, like, um... I know there's speedruns people have done. I think that would be cool to just see how they did it. You know? Maybe the calculator. That's that's one I've been wanting to watch for, I guess, many years. Because I heard about it, or read about it, in an article many years ago. That people made a calculator in Minecraft. There's a new world record? Wait, what do you mean? I mean, new as in how new? Oh, let me also just quickly... Oh, Discord has a threat. Oh, uh, which threat though? Which threat should I look at here? Is it is it in the Minecraft live? Is this should I go in there? On the Minecraft live and then spoilers for stream. Oh, spoilers for post credit stream, I guess. Ah, okay, I see. I'm just gonna pick one here. Hopefully it's not too long. Whoops. By the way, I'm not actually sure... Um, I guess I am allowed to show this video, right? It's fine, right? Hold on, I'm gonna do this. There, you can see now. I found this one. My, why Minecraft is secretly impossible. That's one option. Can you guys link the, the world record? Actually, I just want to see the speed run first. Hold on, let me see. If I click on that... Is the world record in here? Oh, the one for 701. Let's watch that one. Oh, let me also uh, mute the music in the game, I guess. 
Uh, whoop. There we go. Okay. You guys can see this now. Not this one? Is this not the one? 701? 18 hours ago. Holy shit, that is pretty recent. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna watch this. Let's watch this together. I, what am I watching here? Oh, do we have sound on this? Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. This looks weird. It's like the screen is very small. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Block Ulegs. Is he Swedish or Norwegian or something? Keys to openness. Hold on. I need to figure out what the, what the hell is going on. Hold on. Hold on. World record. So it, I guess it's beating the game, right? It's uh, killing the Ender Dragon and getting credits. And he start. He just spawns into a world. That's how this starts. I'm just not understanding quite what what the hell is going on with this pie chart. Okay, so he jumps in the water. How the fuck are you beating this game in seven minutes, bro? I'm, I want to see that. He just finds four diamonds like that? Wait, how did he even know there was a chest there? Framskrit Gjord. <laughs> I love it. What? Okay. Diamond pickaxe. Yeah, I'm getting it. Uh, I think I'm understanding what's happening. Why is he making a boat, though? Oh, I guess he goes... What the hell? I'm so curious about this. Dude, this guy has his fucking diamond pickaxe already! How did he know the chest was there? That's insane. Oh, he's using the debug menu. Is that even allowed? I guess it is. And he's like, he, this is where we go. Holy fuck. <laughs> What's happening, bro? Wait, he made a portal. That was like a magic trick. He was like, fucking abracadabra, here's a portal. And he spawns right next to a, a bastion? Yeah. Okay, how much of this is luck? Because that feels super lucky. I'm not actually reading chat right now because I'm really trying to pay attention. Oh, that's so smart. He blocked them off with the dirt. Oh my god, he's so fast. I <laughs> this is like some next level Minecraft. I mean, I guess it must be. If it's the world record of this. So he's just collecting a- why is he collecting all this gold, though? What does he need that for? Hold on. Let me think about this logically. Also, he has some kind of mod over here or something that shows all the stuff that's happening. I'm guessing he- okay. I'm guessing he collects the gold. Actually, I actually have no idea why he collects the gold. So he needs to get to the Ender Dragon, right? So he needs to get to the end, which means he needs... I'm guessing he needs Ender Pearls, right? So... I'm still not getting the goal. Let's keep watching. Let's see. Yo! <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over this on the side here. This is too much fun. Jernrustning klanger. Picklen snorker sind. Block ødelægges. Can't that plug is up. It's so funny. Oh, it's an accessibility thing. Okay. Okay, he's still getting a lot. He's getting a lot of gold. How is he finding all this gold? How did he know that gold was there? What the hell? Oh, that's why he's not getting attacked. He keeps feeding them gold. What did he get? Oh, he's getting ender pearls out of that, I guess. That's why he's collecting the gold to give the, to the pigs. 
Hold on, this went too, way too fast. I just need to see that. What? So he got... Holy shit, he has a lot of this. Already. He has, he has almost two stacks of ender pearls. And he got that by giving piglins gold. But he didn't give them that much gold, did he? I feel like that's a lot. Dude, the way this guy... Mo okay. <laughs> the way this guy moves around and clicks his inventory so fast is insane to me. Uh-oh. Oh, but he has a fire protection potion. Jeez, I didn't even see he put that on. Why, why did he just go down there? I... I'm... I don't... Uh, guys, I feel so stupid. I don't even understand what's happening in this. Maybe he just did that to get over here. I'm guessing... Okay, okay, okay. He's killing these guys to get blaze rods. Right? So he can actually make uh, Eyes of Ender. And so he can find the end. That's the plan. That's what that is. Also, hold on. Yeah, I should move the chat. You're right. I see that. Let me put that here. There we go. Okay, so he... And he gets them. Any the ilden. Framskritt gjort. Wait, what just happened there? Why did he just place that gravel like that? Is it gives Gus to give him a speed boost or something? I don't know. Man, he's getting all the things he needs. What? Why is why is he doing that? Okay, he's making a portal. I know about this. I called it. He made a portal. He's going back because he has enough, presumably. Why does he go on a boat? Holy shit, that was fast. Look at the... <laughs> I can barely tell what's happening. What? Everyone in his chat is like, holy shit, I can't believe it. And I'm like sitting here going, what can't you believe? I'm not understanding what's happening. Am I supposed to understand any of this? <laughs> this is advanced shit. Dude, it's like five minutes in. This guy's like, I'm, f I'm, f has like diamond pickaxe. He has like two stacks of ender pearls. He has ten eyes of ender and somehow mined eleven obsidian during all of this. I have no idea how he acquired that. Wild. Oh, I guess he needs more. How does he know where to go? How does he throw so far? I feel like that was a crazy throw. Oh my god. Why does he make a portal there? That's so specific. Huh? Say what? I feel like I need some kind of degree in MC to understand what's going on here. Okay, so, okay, okay. He's gonna open the portal now and he's gonna jump in. But how is he gonna kill the dragon this fast, though? He needs to get all the end crystals. He doesn't have a bow. Oh, I guess he's just gonna end the pearl his way up there and somehow fuck them up real quick. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, he did something in the menus. 
He's like organizing his inventory while the pearl is in the air. In the draw. <laughs> I don't... What? Huh? Oh, he's gonna blow it up somehow with the bed. Dude, this is... He's gonna use intentional game design. But how? What is he waiting for? Oh, right, the dragon has to land. It's coming now, it's, it's coming now. Oh my god. Look how much damage the do Oh, he doesn't even care about the crystals! <laughs> so wait, I guess when credits roll, that's when... Bro. This guy just did, in seven minutes, what took me 150 one, hours. On? What the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell? It's your turn, boy? Yeah, right. What's up, Skip B? How you doing? <laughs> What the hell actually is happening, man? Doesn't everyone turn off autoplay? I guess I don't. There we go. I usually have some music playing on YouTube, so it's going off automatically. He triangulated the end portal positions with the boat and the pearl. Really? Why Minecraft is secretly impossible? Bro, I can't, I'm still recovering from what I just saw, because I understood maybe 30% of that. I felt pretty pleased that I figured out the bed thing before it happened. I mean, not that it was super obvious, or like, not obvious, but... A short two-minute video about the history, if you have time? What kind of history? Smiling Marks. I can't believe this guy beat this game in seven minutes. Honestly, the craziest thing was that within two minutes, he had a diamond pickaxe. And that took me, I don't even know how many hours. He just, he just spawned into the world and was like, yep, let's get to work, boys. Already has a diamond pickaxe. It's already on his way to the nether. How? I'm still not understanding what I just saw. It was so fast. He didn't even grab a single diorite. Ooh. <laughs> if you look into the discord look at videos with high thumbs up I can do that um, this was the one I just clicked on this one has a lot this is the one I also clicked on before I have this open uh, why, why Minecraft is secretly impossible? 11 years to finish a Minecraft redstone machine? I mean... Oh, Jesus. I feel like if I need to watch something, it needs to be something I can at least understand. I feel like if I watch something really detailed and technical about redstone stuff, I think somewhere I will understand that they're doing something here that works, obviously. They're doing connections, they're using all these different Lego pieces to create some kind of desired effect. But I won't actually understand all the underlying stuff at all. It's just going to be a black box. You know? Let's do the Minecraft Secretly Impossible. Okay, what is that even about? Let's see here. Uh, let's just... Should we just watch this one? Look at the video at the bottom with the sub one minute world record. Okay, we can do that. This one? Is this the one? Oh, it's two minutes. Yeah, let's watch this one. Let's check it out.
Every major Minecraft update. Oh. 2009. Oh wait, this was added? In 2000? Wow. Wait, wait. Am I supposed to understand this? This is being added? One after another? Like this wasn't in the game in the last update? Adventure update. I'm actually kind of glad I played this game at the very end, or not the end, but what I think at least is the end compared to all the stuff that's happened. Like, obviously, you can always wait longer. The wither, the bastard. Redstone update. Wait, was there no redstone before that? No way. They just decided, you know what, let's let's do something cool with redstone and just imagine some kind of connection system. Oh, there was? They just made it better, okay. Ten times more complicated. <laughs> yeah, that was systems down in the uh, in the thing I went through today that I didn't understand at all. I understand that it worked and it could, uh, if I spent enough time with it, I could probably understand it, but yeah, not in the moment like that. Horse update with a donkey as well. Nice. Because people started building nicer things. Bountiful. Oh, fuck those guys. I hate those things in the water. Combat update. Wait, frostburn update? I would like burning things and... F hmm. Oh, wait. I was playing on 1.20 something, wasn't I? World of Color. Oh, this piece of shit over here. The one that everyone hates, apparently. I don't mind them that much. I mean, they're okay. I can't believe they spawn when you don't sleep. I would never have figured that out, by the way. That's so obscure. Village and pillage. <laughs> Buzzy bees. Nether update. Wait a minute. Wait, they added the ghast before the nether? How does that work? I saw the ghast very early. The nether used to be much different. Oh. Oh, it was, it was like an overhaul. Okay, I see. Oh, the biomes and stuff. Okay, so they added bastion, whatever this is, and that. Cool. Oh, and these guys as well. Cool. Oh, a new armor came with that, I guess. The netherite stuff. Very cool. Caves and cliffs. Caves and cliffs part two. A music disc. Here, guys. You get a music disc for this one. The wild update. Oh, the, w the warden was there. Trails and tails. Is he wearing sunglasses? I never got a skin, actually. I, th I think I'm, I'll, I, I, I like it like that. I like to be the default man. <laughs> Clicked the wrong video. Oh, really? Oh, shit. This one was kind of interesting, though. It was nice to see the, the history of it. Oh, this one? Minecraft any percent in 50... F Wait, how does that work? Guys, uh... So I'm not really well-versed in speedrun stuff. What does any percent mean? Just give me some background here we'll, real quick. I've heard it many times before. I just never knew what it actually meant. Anything goes, no rules. Oh, like you can cheat as well? No restrictions. Oh, okay. No cheats, but glitches allowed. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I was about to say, if you can cheat, you can just sort of write slash win and end the game like that, right? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, okay. So any percent is simply just, if you make it to the end in any way fucking possible, go for it. You know? 54 seconds slash win. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's watch this one. Let's check it out. How do you, how do you, how can you possibly beat the game in 50? Okay, I'm going to make a prediction for this one. The only way I can imagine this is even remotely possible. So the, the dragon needs to be killed, right? So we need damage. So I think somehow the player glitches through the world into the end. Or he somehow glitches through the portal to get to the end. He has to glitch through it somehow to get to the end. And he spends most of his time creating the means to kill the dragon. It's a, Oh, he knows the seed, so he knows the world. Okay. Okay, okay. The portal was open? He jumped in? 16 points. How is that possible? Eyes have a chance to be in frame. The portal had fully completed already? Very rarely portals... You just do that. Why is there no portal? Yes! That was crazy. Like, what did he just do? <laughs> it's weird arrow momentum shenanigans. Oh god. <laughs> Base dropped time perfectly with the one shot velocity trick. Exploits. Oh okay, yeah, I, I guess it must have been. Because how else can you kill that dragon with a single arrow? The damage of the arrow depends on the speed it flies. And in this specific frame, the arrow gets knocked back from the dragon with insane acceleration. And one-shots the dragon. What? So wait, he's been practicing on that world specifically, I guess. For a long time. And he knows that every time he goes in, the, the portal is going to be right below him, and it's already going to be filled. So he knows how to do all of that, and maybe the big question was getting the glitch to work at the end with the dragon then? Wow. But actually getting the world itself seems like the hardest part. You would have to just go again and again and again. Like if someone said one in a trillion chance, that sounds... Yeah, well, it sounds impossible. Wow. 
each frame has a 10% chance to have an eye. Oh, shit. Yeah. So it's 1 over 10 to the 12th. Holy shit. There's a lot of computer science that goes into seed finding. Okay, damn. All right. <laughs> damn. Part of the any percent is finding the best seed. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to try this one here. And uh honestly, next time we're going to do this uh, obviously we're not going to do all of this today because we don't have time. But uh, we're going to have a part 2 of this for sure in the future and we're going to watch some more and play some more on the server and all that. I'm going to watch this one. This seems like a an interesting title. I'm intrigued. This one is good, right? It had a lot of upvotes on Discord. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All kinds of text. Satire and journalistic in nature. It is about Minecraft, right? Okay, let's see. Imagine for a second that you've never heard of Minecraft. Yes, this will be a challenge. Hey, that's me. For many of us, it was an important part of our childhood. But now you know nothing about it. No memes, no history, no Minecraft Live, nothing. It's all gone. Now, let's say that one of your friends told you about this great new game called Minecraft. You buy it, download it, and open the game. How far do you think you could get with no outside help? How much hey, I can beat it. How much of the game could you reasonably be expected to figure out for yourself? I've 30%. I've had this question in my mind for over 10 years. When the Nether was added in 2010, it really bothered me that there was no way to know how to build a portal using the information in-game. One of my friends had to tell me about it. Minecraft has changed substantially since then, but it still suffers from this problem. So how far could you get using in-game information only? Tonight, we're going to aim to finally answer that question. <laughs> I'm so curious Here's what this guy has to work. say now. We'll simulate a blind playthrough of the game. As we discover features, we'll try to give them a clarity score from a scale of 1 to 5. Five means that the info Dude, this is so goddamn relevant. I can't even believe it. Wait, when was this made? One year ago. Oh, that's actually pretty perfect. One year old video. I don't I'm I'm guessing not much has changed then, right? Information about how to access the feature is clearly obvious in game. On the other hand, a score of one would be something that's essentially impossible to discover with Oh, you know what? I'm a, I'm already going to say score of 1 is going to be the fletching table. The fletching table. 100% score 1 without out. No, actually not cuz I figured it out in in the end. So maybe score 2. I'd help. So, let's get started. When we enter a new world, the game does give us some basic hints. Move with W A S and D. Jump with space. Fair enough, that's pretty easy. Look around, use your mouse to turn. Again, pretty straightforward stuff. We use our newfound controls knowledge to explore a bit, and we stumble upon a tree. Destroy the tree. Hold the left mouse button, the game tells Okay, this is very basic. I feel like everyone could figure this out. This destroying the tree, bro, I did that within 10 seconds. I did it with my hands. Us. When we follow the instructions, we discover that the tree does indeed break, or at least part of it. Suddenly we get a notification stating that new recipes <laughs> have been unlocked. Craft wooden planks. The recipe book can help. Awesome, but just how do we find this recipe book? Is it in the menu? We hit escape, but there's no recipe book option. Um, is it a key bind? How did I figure that out? How did I, how did I figure that out? I was reading a bit of chat during the first stream, I remember. Maybe one of you told me. I don't remember. Or maybe, I think I just clicked a bunch of button, actually. Find, options, controls, key binds. Hmm, not seeing recipe book anywhere. Maybe it's in the inventory. Ah, that's it. There's a book button. Clicking on it, we see wooden planks on the side. Selecting oh. it moves our log <laughs> into button. the crafting section. And by selecting the planks, we have just crafted our first recipe. Doing so unlocks several new recipes, and our book updates accordingly. Let's try making sticks. Yes, this must be a crafting component, since it appears as though we've unlocked the recipes to several tools. Yes. But the tools don't show up in the book. 
What's going on here? Well, let's just make every other <laughs> recipe available. Wooden button, pressure plate, crafting table. Could this be important? I mean, you have to remember, usually when people start this game, they've already played other games. So just having played other games gives you some kind of knowledge in general about gaming. You know? Combining things in a crafting thing type deal is not new. It's a little bit unique for Minecraft, sure, the way it, they, they do it, but it's not a unique thing. So you will, you're, you're not going to go in there and be like, what is the game, you know? But maybe. Some will. I don't know. Important. There's a symbol of it on the recipe book. While we have one, it's not immediately obvious what to do with it. But another trip to the controls alerts us to the fact that we can use an item with right click. So we right click once to place the table and again to bring up a different crafting interface. Now that's more like it. Dude, that actually took me a bit. To realize that I had to right click on that and get the thing off. I remember this when I discovered it. It's like, oh yeah, right. Because um, having a 3x3 three three instead of a 2x2 two two crafting window kind of changed a lot. We can now craft our tools. Let's make a wooden hoe. When we pause the game, we see something called advancements. Yeah. It currently tells us what we should do next, as well as the following step. Mine stone with your new pickaxe. There's a picture of a wooden pickaxe, so we make one and start mining. After digging down for a bit, we reach the advancement. Next up is construct a better pickaxe. I feel like this guy is not getting distracted enough. It's almost like he knows which direction to take. This is not very well simulated. In reality, while you were doing all this, you're being attacked by a fucking creeper coming up. And you don't you don't even know what that thing is doing. And it just blows you up. You get reset and you're like, what the fuck? Now I'm dead. And then the night hits and you're like, holy shit, I need to build a house. Gax. We return to the crafting table and make a stone pickaxe using our new resources. I feel like at this point it should have been night already. Like he's way too quick. This took me ages. The following advancement <laughs> is a bit trickier. Smelt an iron ingot. Where are we gonna find iron? It seems logical that this is a use for our new pickaxe. We begin mining, and after a few minutes, we break a new block, resulting in raw iron. But this clearly isn't our final product. We need to smelt an- Dude, this, this guy found iron so fast. I cannot believe that. That's lucky. I was not that lucky. Iron ingot. I'm telling you. It's not explicitly clear how to do that, but sifting through the recipe book leads us to a furnace. It has its own recipe book, and as we expected, we can smelt iron and complete the advancement. Wood is a logical choice for fuel, and before we know it, we have our iron ingot. Night has fallen upon our world, and we're startled to see several hostile enemies attacking us. Dude, this, this guy has iron ingots back, before we the enemy quite comes. Sure what this little icon means. <laughs> we also don't necessarily realize that darkness causes enemies to spawn. The game has no text suggesting that we should craft torches. At this point in the game, right? the possible advancements diverge. We could protect ourselves with a piece of iron armor contained in the recipe book. We could make an iron pickaxe. We could fill a bucket with lava. I think one of my issues in the beginning of the game was that I didn't mine for a long time. I should have just fucking started mining stuff. That's why I got iron so late. I was fucking around on the surface a lot, building my little hut and being like, what do I do? I can fish and stuff, you know? Or like trying to fish. I couldn't succeed in the beginning. Only later did I realize, let's, let's fucking start making a hole and see what's beneath the earth. Lava. The game has taught us the basics of Minecraft, the importance of mining and how to craft. More subtly, it's alerted us to some other important elements, such as how there are different tiers of materials which can be used for tools and armor. However, there are a few critical mechanics that aren't explained. First, the importance yeah, of- Yeah, no food. shit. This one's probably one we could figure out on our own, and we'd also be helped by the recipe book if we were to acquire raw meat. Another critical block is the bed. Tucked away in the adventure section of the advancement screen, oh. we see that it's possible- Don't even get me started on the bed. The bed cost me so many issues. Both in the overworld and in the netherworld. Possible to God damn. Bed to change the respawn point. But actually making this may be a bit more tricky, as the bed doesn't show up in the recipe book. As we've learned, picking up new resources adds recipes that use them to the book. Right now, we don't know that we need wool. At this point in the game, the next step is to find <laughs> diamonds and obsidian, which isn't too difficult. After enough time caving and mining... Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey! What do you mean is... Excuse me? What do you mean it's not too difficult? And then he suddenly appears? In front of a bunch of diamonds? What's happening here? This is not realistic. At all. What do you mean? How did you just fucking teleport to a bunch of diamonds? Oh, we said after a long time? Oh. Okay, shut up it is. Okay, sorry. We will eventually stumble upon both of these. But making the jump to the nether will prove to be quite the leap. The we need to go deeper advancement tells us that it exists, but it's not obvious how to make a portal. 
The best clue we have are these mysterious structures scattered throughout the world. Yes! One of the nearby blocks is called Netherrack, which could indicate that it's connected to the Nether. But even so, we need to figure out that this is intended to- But wait, how do you know there's even something called the Nether at this point? Netherrack. I mean, if, I don't even know. I don't even think I thought about the idea of something called Nether when I saw Netherrack. Or maybe I never minded. I don't remember. It'll be the portal. Figure out that it should be constructed. Oh, the advancements? Right. Oh, shit. Figure okay. out that crying obsidian won't work for the frame. Oh, you're right. Figure... You're right. There was an advancement for the portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. True. Route that it has to be lit. For something so crucial, there are too many steps that have to be found consecutively. Getting to the nether is our first major road. He also missed one point here, which is... I got super lucky, I think. Uh, because there was crying obsidian in one of the portals that I tried to... Uh, make. I don't actually remember why I replaced it with normal obsidian. Maybe it was just uh, an attempt in the moment. I honestly cannot tell you why I did it. I'll have to go back and look. But like that itself, the crying obsidian, I think I got a little lucky there. Exactly. Phylogenesis. I actually don't remember. You would have to look at the VOD. I just intuited it. Yeah, maybe I did. I don't know. It's hard to tell... Or explain why you did what you did in the moment. I think it just looked out of place or something. But uh, here, he also removed it, right? A block. Despite some in-game help, the level of problem solving required to light a portal is far beyond anything Minecraft has asked us to do thus far. Once we finally do make it to the nether, an advancement tells us that we need to find another fortress. This isn't hard. All it takes is some exploration. <laughs> It's also likely that we will kill blazes when we are not hard since they're a new enemy. That will unlock the recipe for blaze powder. Maybe which I'm bad at games. Will open up the eye of Ender if we've killed an Enderman. We know that these are important because of an advancement. I Spy tells us to follow an Ender Eye. When we use one, it leads us in a direction. Finding the stronghold is fairly logical. When we discover, yeah, that's actually pretty logical. I had no problems doing that. I felt so smart because I had no problems doing that. <laughs> The, uh, the finding the portal here was actually one of the easier things. I feel like that really, I was guided by the achievements there. For sure. You didn't know to dig down for a while. Oh, you're right, actually. But I, I, but I ended up doing it. I even dug straight down, too. He's simplifying it? Yeah, I guess a bit. I mean, I guess it's also super difficult. If you know everything there is to know about Minecraft, which I assume this guy does... It's so hard to put yourself in the shoes of someone who doesn't know anything about it. It's, I would say, almost impossible. And that, that concerns anything. So, I mean, it's hard to say. And someone else might have a completely different experience playing this game blind compared to me, right? Maybe if they didn't get distracted as much, they would have an easier time. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe getting distracted helped me at times. Looking into things that are not very orthodox, I don't know. There are still so many things in this game that I did not discover. And I just wonder if I got distracted at one more time at some point, would I have made some kind of crazy discovery because of that, you know? For the in portal, it's hard to there's tell. There's a 75% chance that there will be at least one eye of Ender in the frame, which serves as a tutorial. Once we enter the portal... Wait, so there's a chance there's no eyes at all? Did I get that right? Oh, crap. I mean, it's always easy to look back, of course, but I think if there was no eye in mine, I would not have figured this out. Absolutely no way. I, have, I would never have thought of uh, just the idea you could put an item into another item like that. that. That mechanic itself is not even present anywhere else that I know of. That's insane. Well, the dragon fight is very doable blind. It's visually obvious that it's being healed by the crystals. And we N can dance. No, it's not. No, it's not. Nope. Damage the mob just like anything else. There are many new things nope. to do once the dragon has been defeated. The next generation implies that we can pick up the egg. Figuring out how will take some creativity and- It will take a goddamn miracle from the sky above. Will require us to understand torch mechanics, which we may or may not have learned. The method for respawning the dragon- But- 
So I understand you can somehow... Okay, yeah. The Ender Egg thing is something I don't understand at all. Not even... After you guys explained it, it still makes zero sense to me. Again, is not obvious whatsoever. The end again advancement... How did he just... Whoa! The next generation implies that we can pick up the egg. Figuring out how will take some creativity and will require us to understand torch mechanics, which we may or may not have learned. The method for respawning the dragon is not obvious whatsoever. Yeah, it's not. So that's how you do it, huh? Let me see that again. I just want we to see how he placed it. Learned. The method for respawning the dragon. So he puts them in the center dragon there. Is not oh. Yeah, how would I ever... Fi I would not have figured that out. 100%. Is there some kind of hint at all in the game for this? It's just how some items work. Torches are weird. Yeah, but how would you intuit that at all? How would you go, oh, right, I should try and put the egg on a torch. <laughs> no hint at all? Damn. Okay. Okay. All right. Obvious whatsoever. The end again advancement tells us that it's possible and that it uses in crystals. However, we have no idea what to do. Oh, and that respawns Remote the crystals. Remote getaway indicates that we can escape the main island. While the end gateways are glowing, we must still figure out that we need to use ender pearls. Otherwise, we could make a bridge to leave the island. The elytra is not difficult to. Oh, based on what I learned in the uh, escape room thing you um you made for me today, I wonder if I could force myself into a lying down position if I could make my way through that. Let's say I somehow figured that out during my series and I never figured out Enderpearls for whatever reason. Maybe I could force it like that. Oh, cool. Heck yeah. Awesome. It took me so long to figure out what the Enderpearls did because I would usually throw them right at my feet and I would only notice that I lost HP. I was like, why did I just lose HP? I, I just didn't understand what was happening. And it was a very limited item at the time, so... I was trying not to use them too much. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out that I was being teleported with that. The find, and using it is fairly straightforward. However, nowhere does the game explain that fireworks can be used while flying. Hold on, nowhere does the game explain that you can fly. Am I crazy? No Hold on. The Elytra is not difficult to find, and using it is fairly straightforward. However, nowhere does the game... Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Actually, now that I think about it, the achievement does say sky's the limit, so now that I think back on that, in retrospect, that actually makes sense. I'm explain that fireworks can be used while flying, a crucial missing piece. We've also killed shulkers during our in-city raid. The recipe book tells us how to make shulker boxes, and while it's not mentioned, we can figure out that they're portable storage with some experimentation. Yeah, I guess so. I, yeah, I guess I need more patience. I could have maybe figured that out, but for me it was just... Really, I, I mean, I instantly was, I just branded that as a box. Okay, that's just a box. It looks cool. Nice. You know, I, I, I wouldn't even consider trying to put that box with something in it in my inventory. Because none of everything I've seen in the game suggests that there's a mechanic that allows you to do such a thing. I've been told so far that if you put something in a box or something inside something, you cannot move it. If you break it, it falls out. Right? It is just so... Yeah. You found a barrel first. Wait, can you do it with barrels? Bro said this is useless cosmetics. <laughs> did I actually say that? I don't think I said useless. Did I say that? I mean, it's, it's nice looking. It's a nice looking cosmetic. No, you can't. Okay, okay, yeah. I was about to say. Now that we've completed the main story and explored the end, let's return to the overworld to see what else we- Bro, I feel like this guy completed the main story and explored the end within 7 minutes. This was almost a- He was only like, what is it, 34 seconds off the world record. And this guy's going in blind. The world record is 7 minutes and 1 second. This took me 150 hours. What's gonna happen in the, in the end here? Jesus. We can do. If we wander for a bit, we'll stumble upon a village. Trading is easy, the UI is intuitive. Iron golems spawn naturally here, but instructions mm. of how to build them are nowhere to be found. That's better than the snow golem, whose existence has no reference in the game whatsoever. Yeah. Wait, how do you actually find, figure that out? I guess the villager thing... 
I definitely slept on experimenting with that for the longest time. I I think I would have figured that shit out really early if I actually spent some effort on it. So yeah. Sure. Raids could be logically discovered, but they're also likely to happen by accident at some point. One thing that's much less likely to occur accidentally is curing a zombie villager. Despite yeah. the advancement telling us it's possible, the information needed for this is found in a very obscure place, hidden in the basement of some igloos. Huh? Once you're down here, the signs do help- Wait, igloo? ...help you with the process, but getting to this spot is something that not all players are likely to do. While we're down here, we notice that the brewing stand has a splash potion of weakness. This tells us that the stand is used for potion making, and it's confirmed- Oh, splash potion. You know, so I feel so the whole weakening a villager thing. At first, I thought I had to damage it. Like weakening means in every other game out there, didn't work. And then I later on figured out that I could make potions of weakness, and I th I think I did figure out that I could uh, at least in theory use them on the villagers, and that would be the way to weaken them. But I actually never thought about the idea of using a splash potion because I had trouble in my mind. I remember thinking. But they're a potion. I can only drink that. That makes me weak. And for some reason, I never made the connection in my head that I could use a splash there. And so I still had that little problem. This is so obvious in hindsight. I remember you entering an igloo, but not finding the basement. Really? There were 10 million times you came up with a totally reasonable theory, like weakening by damage, that was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Confirmed to be possible by the advancement. We can guess that we need blaze powder because of the UI. Even so, the actual process for brewing is a complicated sequence of steps. Yeah. The game fails to even explain the importance of nether warts. What about other types of magic? The advancement and recipe book tell us that an enchanting table is possible. Wait, he gave brewing one book. I mean, honestly, I don't think it was that hard. If you think about the time I spent trying to figure it out versus the time I spent on the fletching table, for example, I feel like I, it wasn't too bad. It was, it was basically just brute forcing. I brute forced until it worked. Which doesn't require a lot of brain power, just patience. Sequence of steps. The game fails to even explain the importance of nether warts. What about other types of magic? Yeah. The advancement and recipe book tell us that an enchanting table is possible. Once we make one, the UI is fairly straightforward, assuming that we've discovered lapis. Bro, the enchanting However, table is so obscure. Despite our ability to do simple enchantments, we have no idea that we should increase their potency using bookshelves. I mean, I understand it now, we but... We can't know which enchantments are possible without many tries. With yeah. our newly enchanted gear, it's time to explore. If we happen to have cartographer villagers in our village, we can then trade with them for explorer maps. We'll start by following the ocean explorer map. Along the way to it, but it does not Oops, tell us how wait. to make the associated... I clicked something I shouldn't have. ...tries. ...in our village, we can then trade with them for explorer maps. We'll right. start by following the ocean explorer map. Along the way, we stumble across a shipwreck containing another map. This leads us to a chest of buried treasure. It includes a curious right. item, a heart of the sea. The recipe book tells us how to make a conduit, but it does not tell us how to make the associated structure. And while we will soon find the ocean mon- I would never have figured any of this out. I had the heart of the seas in my inventory for the entirety of the game. I do remember reading something about the conduit at some point, but I just- it, nothing ever clicked regarding that. And never would I imagine that it would be connected to the ocean monument or whatever. Also, why do you need a map to find an ocean monument? They're everywhere, right? For some reason, they're insanely difficult to get. You mean like the heart of the sea? You knew how to make it. You just didn't have enough Nautilus shells. That's right. I remember that now. I do remember one recipe where you had to surround something with Nautilus shells. Right. I remember. Okay. Monument, it will be nigh impossible to defeat it without knowing about conduit power. Now we can follow our other map. This one will take us far, far away. It's not explained in-game that the nether can be used to travel through the overworld quickly, so we have to make the hey! long back instead. Hey! The overlook! All of this exploration Fuck! Has a I clicked the button I shouldn't have again. 
I, I usually press K on my keyboard to pause YouTube videos. And I sometimes I hit L, so it skips ahead, I see, it seems. But I guess it only skipped like five seconds. Oh yeah. To the overworld quickly. So we have to make the long trek instead. Upon killing an evoker, we pick up a totem of undying. The advancement tells us that we can use it to cheat death. Yeah. We must learn that it has to be held for this effect to occur. I didn't figure that out on my own. I got spoiled by that. Not directly, but someone in chat, I remember this. Uh, and it, it really wasn't um, anything bad or anything, but someone mentioned the holding the thing in the hand. They didn't say anything how it worked. They just said how they liked how I hold, held it in my hand. And for some reason, that just stuck with me. And it was in the back of my mind. So I think that one got figured out because of that. Yeah. I'm not sure I would ever have figured that out if not for that. All of this exploration has us worn out, and we want to do something a little more low-key. In our journey, we saw some bees. The associated advancement oh. tells us what we need to do to get honey. There are also wild horses. Taming them isn't difficult, but we cannot ride them- Oh no, bro, bro. Taming a horse is difficult. You need to somehow click- I, Even the second time I tried, I couldn't remember it. The sequence of steps there to tame the horse is wild. Plus, we've discovered For me. a saddle. An advancement tells us that <laughs> I'm also very slow. Can be tamed, including cats, wolves, and parrots. However, this type of taming is different, and we'll need to discover that these animals like certain foods. We also saw a fishing rod in the recipe book. When we try, like the wolf is a good example. Uh, I I remember feeding it a bunch of things, right? I fed it meat, which would make sense. It's a wolf; it likes meat. I fed it, and it I think it got a heart on it. So like that's good. They like it, right? And then later on, I did happen to feed it a bone and some black smoke came up. And I fed it like three, four times in a row, black smoke every time. Any sane gamer would just assume that doesn't work. That means it's not gonna work. And the heart means they like it, right? So <laughs> people are like, oh, you should be more patient and try again and again. But the definition of insanity, I mean, this is not really the definition of insanity, but it gets thrown around a lot. It's doing the same thing again and again, expecting different results. Why would any sane gamer keep giving him bones when you get the black smoke, right? <laughs> the, the thing is, um, I, I, I did do a lot of weird things in this game, specifically because I know the game is weird. You know, after I learned some things, I'm like, okay, I should expect weirdness. So that's why I... Uh, sometimes try a lot of things, you know? That's why I'm brute forcing all kinds. That's why I'm sometimes trying things that don't even make sense. They never work out, but I'm trying them because there's a chance. Try to use it. It's simple. And Far Cry 3, yeah. Expect. This has us excited to grow some plants, but unfortunately, the use of bone meal is not explained anywhere. We have some... How did I figure out skeleton? bone meal? I have no memory how I figured that out. Because logically, there should be no way. I must have just... It must have happened by accident. Do you remember? Composters? Oh. Oh, actually, that's a good point. It popped out of the... Com oh, right, composting, yeah. Right, 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 that makes sense. Also, I skipped ahead again. Unfortunately, the process for discovering the rest of the discs is nowhere to be oh, found. Oh, wait, I... Physical step. Music discs that... But unfortunately, the go. use of bone meal is not explained anywhere. We have some music discs that we found in the mansion. We can play them by making a jukebox, which is a logical step. Unfortunately, the process for discovering the rest of the discs is nowhere to be found. At some point, a skeleton killing a creeper will occur randomly, but we have to be paying attention to know what happened. We also cannot know if we found every disc since wait, there's what? no list. Sorry, I just need to hear that again. I don't understand. What paying you meant. attention to know what happened. Point: A skeleton killing a creeper will occur randomly, but we have to be paying attention to know what happened. We all. I'm not understanding any of this. What What is he talking about? Also, cannot know if we found every disc since there's no list. Another creeper-related feature is that mob heads are dropped when killed by a charged creeper. This is another thing that'll have to happen randomly for us to. This happened in your playthrough. A skeleton killing a creeper will drop a music disc. Really? That happened to me? I have no memory of that. Are you sure? I feel like I would have noticed. 
The one you had no idea. Oh, the one you had no idea where it... I actually remember something about that. Your very first disc. Oh. I see. <laughs> Damn. I must have been so confused at that point. Discover it, although it's much less likely. We decide that it's time to return to the Nether to see what else there is. War pigs alert us to the existence of Bastion remnants, so we need to explore to find them. Along the way, we see. Hold on, B lore of the pigs? Or does he mean like in advancements here? Because in advancements, that what led that's what led me to explore the uh, the Nether, knowing that there were such places. War war pigs. Oh, 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 okay, he's talking about the advancement. Okay, okay. Ah, I gotcha. Riders. This boat has legs tells us how to ride them, although this will only be possible if we've discovered how saddles work. Once we reach the Bastion, O'Shiny tells us that we need to give gold to piglins, teaching us about their trading mechanic. Wow, it sure is easy to get Indra Pearls this way. We should have done this the first time we were here. In one of the chests, we discovered... I feel like I didn't get that many Indra Pearls from that. Scrap. This unlocks the recipe from Netherite. While an advancement tells us it's possible to upgrade diamond equipment, it doesn't explain that we need to craft a special workstation for this. There's an advancement for summoning something called... Here we go. ...called the Wither. The prerequisite is picking up Wither Skeleton Skulls. We saw these in another fortress. Yet, the advancement is silent on what we're supposed to do with these to summon the Wither. If we've been paying extremely close <laughs> attention, we may have discovered that there's a painting that appears to show these yep. Wither Skulls in a certain configuration. Yep. However, we'd still need to make the connection that the base is Soul Sand, so it's a tall task for us to discover on our own. I figured out the Soul Sand because of the background. Look, it's Netherrack. I just know, I just know in my mind, I just combined those two things, you know? ...that there's a painting that appears to show these Wither Skulls in a certain configuration. But then again, it's on grass. However, we'd still need to make the connection that the base is Soul Sand, so it's a tall task for us to discover on our own. Once we do kill the Wither, we obtain another star, and the recipe book tells us how to craft a beacon. Uh-oh. The beacon's UI appears to show it on a pyramid structure. And it also appears to show that we need to integrate some things here. So bring out your notebooks and your pens, boys and girls. With some experimentation, we may be able to build it correctly. During our time in the Nether, mining Nether Quartz has unlocked several recipes. Turns out there's an entire category dedicated to redstone. Some of these items are easier to understand, <laughs> such as the buttons and levers. But even critical components are more obscured. The inversion property of the redstone torch needs to be discovered through trial and error. The comparator? Well, good luck. Even people who use tutorials struggle with it. Thank you. Thank you. God damn, that feels good to hear. I'm so glad he said that. I feel like I still don't understand comparators. I mean, maybe I did in the moment back then when I experimented. I feel like I got somewhere, but now I don't remember. <laughs> Furthermore, Minecraft does not teach the basics of circuit design whatsoever. To become proficient, we will likely need a considerable amount of exterior knowledge. At this point, it seems as though we've seen most of what Minecraft has to offer. Bro, I made the craziest Rube Goldberg machine just by exp That was actually so much fun. Just experimenting with all the redstone stuff and just trying to make something really complicated. See if it could work. Awesome stuff. Now it's time to work on completion of the advancements. 2x2 two two asks us to breed all of the animals, but it doesn't tell us which animals are breedable. Baby polar bears exist, but we can't breed them. Mules are not breedable. However, for some reason, we can breed the hostile hoglins. We can Wait, also what? breed villagers, but this doesn't count for the advancement. Also Whoa! What do you mean, breed the villagers? Excuse me? Hello? What does he mean by that? He doesn't mean it the way he, I think he means it. No way. You can make them have fun time? If you give them f Oh, what? So we don't Bro. know which items to use for individual animals. Suffice to say, the 2x2 two two advancement is quite difficult to accomplish. Yeah. So too is a furious cocktail, since there's no list of the required effects. Yeah, and there's no- yeah, exactly, and you don't know how to make the potions to begin with. Let's just get that one out of the way. How would anyone figure out invisibility potion? Let's think about this. I mean, I didn't figure it out. But I think I have a very good reason for why. The whole game teaches you... 
Well, first of all, figuring out potions, right? But having an already made potion? I forget which one it was, but you told me earlier. And you combine that with the uh, with with the spider eye, that makes a new potion. That is not a mechanic anywhere else, is it? Is that actually the only potion that requires an already made potion with an effect? I wonder. There are, th there are more? No, there are several. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Ooh, shit. Okay, so maybe I just did an experiment. I never thought about actually using a potion with an effect as the base for something different. I can't believe I never thought about that, actually. Why wouldn't I try that? I mean, I did. I used the base... I used the potion with an effect as a base and then added redstone, right? To enhance the effect or extend the effect. But I never thought I could make a new potion with a different effect and not just an extended one. Hmm. Discovering them manually would be frustrating. That's not to mention the hidden achievements, which would only be discovered by the most inter- Wait, wait, wait. Hidden achievements? What's, what's all this? What kind of hidden achievement? There's hidden achievements? Did I get a hidden achievements? Did I get hidden achievements in this game? I got a couple? Hey, do you know off the off the cuff which ones I got? Hmm. How did we get here? What is that achievement? Nope. I don't know. I was about to Google it, but then I thought better of it. Surprising of players. And that just about concludes our experiment. We've seen every major feature and several minor ones. So how did Minecraft do? What about the end rots? What is the point of them? How far <laughs> could you really get with no outside knowledge? In my opinion, the most egregious issue is still the nether portal. It's one of the lowest scoring features, but it's absolutely critical if you want to complete the game. This needs to be fixed. It's such an important milestone that it shouldn't be this difficult to find. Honestly, I don't feel like they, they are that diff The nether portals weren't that hard. I feel like given enough time, even with the crying obsidian, I would have figured it out. Just the achievements are just so clear on it. And these are everywhere. I feel like that would not have been a problem. At least not for me. I mean, it's easy for me to say now, of course, but yeah. Ruin portals already serve as the ghost of a tutorial. When the player finds one, why not add a prompt that explains how to fix it? Alternatively, the advancement text could be rewritten to explain how to build a portal. In fact, this would help with many of the more mysterious features, like Elytra Flight, The Wither, The Conduit, and Potion Brewing. The system for in-game help already exists. Let's utilize it, make the advancements more clear. This would be an extremely easy way to improve the game for new players. The other advantage to the system is that the player can choose if they want... Yeah, I guess have, just having more of the books in the crafting tables and stuff, right? Like, you could have in the potion thing something... Like, the little outline of the nether ward, maybe. I mean, at the very least. You know? I don't know, but... yeah. The help by something like at that. the advancement screen. If you've been playing for a long time, there's simply no need for hand-holding. It's available as needed. Anyways, it's time to start wrapping things up. It was really fun for me to see how much of the game is discoverable with no outside knowledge. Right? What do you think? Do you agree with my assessment? I, I think I agree mostly. It's it's a hard game. Minecraft is a is a very unique game for sure. Very unique. Let's like that one. One of the most unique games I've ever played. It's very, very different than most games. Do you love it? Yeah, I think so. It's a, it's a pretty good game. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> I did it! <laughs> okay, listen. 
It's almost 12 o'clock here and that's way above my bedtime. But we're gonna call this part one for a future part two. It's, we're gonna weave that in between the Rain World streams at some point. Maybe have like, uh, I don't know if you know about Co Carnage, but he's, he's one of my favorite streamers and he has this uh, thing he calls Cozy Stream or whatever, where he just, it's not like, he just, it's just a chill stream where he just does chill things. I kind of want to do something similar with this. You know? What do you think? Today was really great. Hopefully it was fun. I had so much fun just talking about all the stuff I missed. It's it's so nice to finally talk f openly about everything, you know? With the floodgates open, all of you not having any limitations and we can just speak about all the stuff that happened. Cuz I've been I've also been living sort of a little bit isolated with my knowledge, right? So it, it's it's uh, it, it goes both ways here. For sure. It's cathartic. Yeah, and we're not even close to being done with all the stuff. There's so much more. I honestly the the crouch placing blocks on the ones that you normally can't place blocks on blew my mind. <laughs> Look at the replies to you. Oh, did people already reply to this? Let's see. Don't forget to like the video here as well. That was an awesome video. I did it. He did it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, I hope you had fun. Hold on. Let me actually uh, open something here. Holy shit, there's 400 people watching. I haven't uh, looked at the number here at all throughout this. That is crazy. Damn. Welcome, everybody. I don't know if you were new here or not, but I hope you had fun. Check out the Minecraft series if you haven't yet. Well, it peaked at 500 something. Wow. That's insane. Today was absolutely wild. So stoked I got to catch a bit of this. I'm so happy, Brian. Much love. Hello, Fano? Hello, Jason Bunderson. But ain't got it. Yeah, people donated so much money, Sefir. It was just... It makes me feel a little uncomfortable because... Yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard. I don't know how to react to something like that. I'm super happy for it and very appreciative. It it, it puts a little pressure on me to to do. Um, I don't know to keep. I don't know to 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 improve even or something. I don't know. It 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 it, it messes with your mind a little bit. But I'm just super happy about it. It means people are enjoying it, and that's so good to hear. Honestly, as long as you're enjoying these videos that I put up and are getting enjoyment out of it, and yeah, that's all I could ask for. That's cool. I think that's really cool. It's great to finally be able to share things. I know, right? It's so freeing, in a way. Would you be willing to do those cozy streams for older games where you miss stuff like Outer Wilds? Yeah, I can imagine. Like, I'm, So the way I'm imagining a stream like that is just... It's pretty much a chatting stream. But then we can decide to do whatever, right? We can say, oh, let's try and jump into this game and do this. Something I already played and just... Or just talk about something, you know, just random things. It, it, there's no set agenda. It's like a hangout, in a way. Screw the pressure. Have fun and get stumped. That's what we're here for. Thank you, Elevi. Again, or Levy. That's so nice of you. You've already donated so much. You don't have to donate anymore, seriously. You have, you have sponsored the next thousand cans of Coke. Which means you've sponsored the next thousand streams. It's, it's, it's really... It's totally fine. Please don't feel pressured to donate at all. As long as you're watching, having fun, then I'm happy. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm out of here. And... Um, to, let's, let's see, tomorrow's Friday. Either tomorrow or Saturday, we're going to start up Rain World. And sometime next week, we're going to do this part two of Minecraft. I'm not sure when yet. But yeah, Rain World, 
either tomorrow or Friday. Sorry, e either tomorrow or Saturday. And we're going to have some fun in that game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Adios!